This week on Weller Does Del Marva. Join us at our new location, Rudy's Family Restaurant. Denise dishes on what's new in her world. Mayor Robin Christensen stops by for a visit, and we get an update on the city of Dover. Justin Ward from Invisible Fence Del Marva has some tips on getting your yards and pets ready for spring. We are live from Rudy's Family Restaurant in Harrington. Here's your host, Jim Weller. Good morning, everybody. And we are live. We're alive. We are here at uh, Rudy's Family Restaurant in Harrington, Delaware. We are very excited to be in Kent County. Uh, what a week it's been. Uh, we've all had a lot of interesting, challenging things, and uh, we're here. So we're inviting you, whether you're watching on TV, whether you're listening, whether you're watching on Facebook or whatever, please get up and get in your vehicle and uh, come on down here to Rudy's and check with me when you get here, and I'll give you something that will save you 10% on your purchase and every purchase from this day forward. So anyway, we have some gift cards for you for Rudy's that will save you. It's really a discount card that'll save you 10%. So we're going to talk to our first guest, which is here in person today. A lot yes. of times you hear him on the telephone. That's right. But uh, here well, my he phone is. was broken, so Your I just phone. thought I'd drive over. Drive over. Well, yeah. that's the thing to do. <laughs> so, Colin, good morning to you. It's long distance, too, from the studio to that's here. That's right. I want to dial right. long distance. One, three, oh, two. <laughs> that's right. 398 or whatever it is, 422. Right. Anyway, right. good morning. What is going on? Welcome to Harrington, to all the TV Del Marva viewers and That's all the right. Facebook and YouTube viewers. Welcome to Harrington. Uh, we are at Rudy's Diner, Rudy's, Rudy's Diner. Family Restaurant. I'm sorry. Right. Rudy's Family Restaurant. Yep. Open 24 7. It is. And I got here and they were here and they were ready to go. Yeah. And that was it's at amazing. Like 5 30. And so. we're right in the lobby. That's we're right. right. You can't miss us when you can't come miss in. us. Right. So if you can't stay long, Drive right out in front of the window and toot your horn and wave. That's okay? a good idea. Right up That's what front. we want. We want you to just pull up right up front and toot your horn and wave to us. Yep. So uh, so anyway, we are here, and, you know, I want to talk a little bit about TV Delmarva. And, yeah. you know, you got the coronavirus thing going on. Where it's, it's really affecting things. It's really affecting things, and, and it's already directly affected friends of mine oh. uh, financially with their business. Immediately. And, Yep. And so it got me thinking, you know, that this really is going to affect small businesses. Oh, no doubt. And it's going to affect my small business as well. You know, I own an auto repair shop. And wall service center. Wall service center. And, you know, if we have to shut down or if we lose two to three weeks worth of business. Or what if your customers just are saying, you know, I drive a school bus for a living. Can't do that for a couple of weeks. Got a little less right. income. Going to put that, that automotive repair off. Yeah. I, I yeah, actually gonna, saw somebody on Facebook that, down effect. that yep. said the exact same scenario that, they're a school bus driver, right. and they're going to lose that income yep. because the schools are shut down. So at TV Del Marva, we're trying to do something. We're, we're thinking of ideas that we can have. Uh, you know, we're an independent TV station. Right. We're beholding to nobody other right. than the FCC's you rules. And your, you and your crew exactly. can make your own decisions. And so what we've decided to do is we want to help small businesses. So okay. if you're a small business, we're looking for ideas from you. Um, we're thinking we're going to set up a roundtable discussion, maybe. Okay. Um, we're going to air that on TV. Uh, maybe we're going to give away some ads. You know, if your business wants to be on there, let us know. We want to talk about your business. Okay. And make sure you continue to get customers and make sure we can all get through this. Right, because you may have a business thing. that you're going to have to make some adjustments, and you're going to give them a platform to kind of get the word out about things. Yeah, yep. And, uh, and a, a local platform. A local platform, and, you know, we want to, we want to make it as painless as possible. Um, for for these uh, businesses and you know frankly we need them to survive absolutely because we need the community to right. survive. we know the big and, companies are going to survive yeah it's they'll the be small fine. you know owner operator businesses we're speaking of because that's what we are yeah, well I mean businesses. you and I have discussed this for years that that we're all you know is it two weeks three weeks four weeks maybe a month and a half to two months I mean, From, all businesses the little businesses right. might only be two weeks to two months away from, from not being in business not being in business anymore yet yep. so you know if you go that long without any income it could be a, a, a devastating Absolutely. effect to your business so get up with me we're going to talk about this a little bit more later um but this is something tv delmarva is absolutely going to do and uh, we're going to figure it out we're still you know trying to figure out what exactly we right. want to do. what it looks like but, exactly but what you're saying is we want to come together as small business people so if you're listening or watching and as a community and as a community and you want to be involved in this or you have a business that needs some help mm -hmm. this is going to be something we're not 
I don't think you're charging for it. This we're not charging. No, no. Right. This is, this something is kind of a, a free like gift back to the community. We feel we're obligated to do it as a broadcaster. TV Del Marvo, Channel 14 over the air. We feel like we're obligated to do this for the community. Right. So, all right. Well, thank you, Colin. Thank you. TV Del Marva. Send Colin a message or call him. Um, anyway, here we go. I hear the radio coming. So we're going to go live on the radio in just a second. And we're going to get this show underway. So good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, everybody, I hear the music. This is Jim Weller. We are broadcasting from a brand new live on location location in Harrington. So if you are the mayor of Harrington, we'd like to see you. If you are the fire chief of Harrington, we'd like to see you. If you are the police chief of Harrington, we'd like to see you. This is an open invitation. We are here at Rudy's Family Restaurant in Harrington, and we are broadcasting live. We're going to be here every Saturday morning from 7 to 9, and you are invited to come out and watch the show, get some food, check things out, hang out, whatever you want to do. Rudy's Family Restaurant, Route 13 in Harrington. We would like to see you. All right, so we got an action-packed show. Lots of people coming and going. We got some different guests going to be on. We've had an un unbelievable week for our world, our country, and our community. A week like we've never experienced before and many challenges ahead. And we're going to come together during this, and we're going to make things happen, and we're going to get through it. Okay, so first thing I want to do is let's roll the collage, if we would. This is going to tell you some of the things we got going on on the show, and there might be some surprises. It's hard to say. So whenever they're ready, here it comes. This is what's happening today. This week on Weller Does Del Marva, join us at our new location, Rudy's Family Restaurant. Denise dishes on what's new in her world. Mayor Robin Christensen stops by for a visit and we get an update on the city of Dover. Justin Ward from Invisible Fence Del Marva has some tips on getting your yards and pets ready for spring. We are live from Rudy's Family Restaurant in Harrington. Here's your host, Jim Weller. Good morning and thank you, uh, Bob Backman. That was cool Bobby B's voice. He does the voiceover for us. And uh, thank you for that. Now, the first thing I want to do is do a sponsor segment, Jerry's Lawn Care. Everybody hears me talk about him each and every week, and people call up Jerry and say, Jerry, I need a free estimate. He'll help you out. He does all kinds of things. It's Jerry Santoro, locally owned and operated, licensed and insured, years and years of experience. He does lawn care. He does tree work. He can grind up stumps or dig them up. He has some great firewood, whether you need it for, you know, uh, you're cooking pizza in your oven fired or what is it called? What's that called? Um, Wood-fired wood fired, wood fired uh, pizza oven. In other words, if you got one of them or if you got a fireplace or you just want to have a big fire, little fire, if you need firewood, he's got firewood, he's got mulch, he puts in irrigation systems, he does lawn care, does a little bit of everything. He clears building lots, so if you're going to build something or you just got some trees that are leaning and you just don't want to be around when they fall, just let him take care of it. So it's Jerry's Lawn Care, jlc-llc.com. Give him a call. Here's the number, 302-363-6025, 363-6025. Dial it in the, that exact order. It will work best. And you give Jerry a call. Tell him I sent you. You need something done. You're not sure if he does it. You give him a call, and he'll help you out, okay? Jerry's Lawn Care. Now, going to talk to my wife, Denise, but we also are going to share in a public service announcement. Okay? Okay. We had a friend of ours call our house and leave a message. And she said, Jim, I'll pay you to do this message. And I said, no, you don't really need to. But it's something that's happened to her. And it's very annoying. And she's worried. She's a, she's a senior citizen. And she said, you know, I got a call from the IRS. And she said they kept calling back. And she said it got me, you know, it bothered me. And she said maybe some people might fall into this and stuff. And now at our house, we detest phone calls un in other words, these scams and things like that. I think everybody does. Our phone will ring at home and Denise will say, don't even answer it. I answer it. it I want to talk to him. I want to talk to him. In other words, why. and I have ask him all kinds of questions oh. and their, their business license number and anything. But anyway, I want to tell you, the IRS does not call your house. Okay. Right. They will mail you something in the mail. Okay. So the IRS, if you've got a call saying, you know, that, um, your social security numbers. When they told me my social security number was suspended, I said, thank you. I said, I don't have to pay any more taxes. In other words, you just <laughs> oh, give me a big break. 
In other words, they weren't expecting that answer. That wasn't what they were saying. So I want to just say, Karen, thank you for the call. Good point. I wanted to mention to everybody that the IRS, if they're calling your house, just play along with them. Uh, wish them Happy New Year. Tell them Jesus loves them and uh, leave it at that. But uh, it's not she, real and so on. What? She would be good at saying that. Yes, them. she would. Yeah. Yes, she would. So She's anyway, a good witness. I told her I would say something and um, really bothered her. She was more worried about, you know, other people falling into that scam. You yeah, know, there's so, a lot of scams very, out there. Oh, my gosh. It's unbelievable. Mm. All right, so what have we got going on here, Denise Weller? Okay, well, I wanted to talk about your birthday a little bit. Okay, it was, I forgot, Thursday. Yes, your birthday was Thursday. Um, we you, had a wonderful time. We had a wonderful birthday. Wonderful, wonderful birthday. But it is a little stressful on the family okay. because you love birthdays. Oh, I do. You do. I mean, I cherish them. We've had... Talk right into that mic. We've had some awesome parties during the years. Yes, we have. But um, we can have another one next I year. I know, and I'm kind of like partied out, and he's oh, always man. ready for one. I am. So the stress is always on to give him a great birthday. I'm a party just waiting to happen. Yeah. All right. So anyway, so I was trying to think of a birthday idea besides okay. a party. Oh, there's going to be more. No, no. This oh, is, well, this I'm is telling already the over. Oh, what I we thought, did because awesome. you know what? This can help them. That's what I hope. You're my trying to help somebody plan for a. If if I hope my ideas maybe help other people. Okay. You know. Anyway, so um, my girlfriend that I walk with, right. she is um, having all her VHS tapes turned into DVDs. Okay. Okay. And there's um. A thing on Facebook that she's working with, and it's called Legacy Box. Legacy Box. And what okay. you do is you put all your tapes and everything in this box. You have them labeled just how you want them, and then you send them off. Um, it's pricey, but it's worth it to me. I love those memories. Okay. Anyway, and um, then they turn them back into DVDs or um, a stick that you okay. put in your computer. You get right. your choice. Anyway, I was going to do that, but... I just can't send mine off. What if okay. they get lost in the oh, mail? What, what if you know, they get I, the coronavirus? Yeah, you know, I just, I have trouble with that right. kind of stuff, you know? Because okay. they're just priceless to me. Right. So anyway, um, I just love the Lord, right? Okay. And he helps me a lot, okay? I mean, um, he's living in me to guide me, and he's doing it. So anyway, I'm thinking, how can I do this myself? So I was going to buy a machine that did it. Okay. But... Um, I don't really know how to do it, you know, and, and it, anyway, to make a long story short, I went out in your garage, mm -hmm. this big junk pile he has, he has, I always get on him and say, just throw it all away, just mm -hmm. get rid of it. Yep. Anyway, I'm out there looking and our, our old VHS DVD recorder, it's a Zenith, was out there right. with the instruction manual Everything. and with the remote. I said, I wonder if it works. So I bring it in. And it all works, and um, so. But I'm thinking I still don't know how to transport right. one over. Right. So I go on YouTube, and um, I found this man that was doing. It's a 10-minute tutorial, okay. and he shows everything: how to plug in the wires, how to set it up. You need a little monitor, so you need like a TV to hook to it. But we have an extra TV right. around somewhere. We do. Not like a big TV, like just a little to monitor it. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so, um, that's what we're going to do. Right. So, for your birthday present, I wrapped up the old VHS player, mm -hmm. and um, I wrapped up all the tapes, mm -hmm. and you opened it up, and you got stuff that you already owned, but you got right. an idea is what, right. what I gave you. I gave you an idea of how to preserve our memories. I mean, right. we have stuff back when my son wasn't even born yet. So let me say it in a different way. Okay. I, I was too wordy. For my birthday present, you went out in the garage in it, my junk pile yes. and decided to bring a piece of my junk back in yes. and give it to me for my birthday. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so yes. I could sit around and take my old videos and make them into DVDs. Yeah, that's it. That's what that's it was. It. Right. Now, the bigger gift was... <laughs> Tell it. Remember, we sat there as a family, and our grandchildren got to watch videos of their parents. As children. As children. Yeah. And they had never seen any yeah. of pictures of their parents, and it was cool. Yeah, there was a lot of footage, different oh, footage. Oh, there was there. this video of Jimmy riding in this little oh, battery-operated yes. Bigfoot truck. Yeah, and he fell and asleep. And he fell asleep and banged his head on this... Wheel. And I'm it videoing it. It was hilarious. Yeah, Denise wouldn't stop videoing and him. everybody's like, why didn't you just go over <laughs> and there and pick him up? And then he woke up again and he kept driving around <laughs> on the thing. 
Oh, it was, but this is really cool. Watching them old videos was really, really, really. Because the big thing now, I think, is to let go of stuff. You know, don't hoard your old stuff and just kind of let go. Then the garage would be empty. I know. Well, listen, listen, because this leads (laughs) to. Then what am I going to do? This leads to the next thing about that junk pile. Oh, my gosh. I was so excited. (laughs) I'm redoing our house a bit. And, you know, because we've lived in that house for 40 years. Yep. And the it's time for a new one. The heat registers, you know, along the wall right. have been painted and they're all banged up and everything, yeah, yeah. you know. And so I decided to replace them four years ago. Okay. But I want the same ones, you know. All I right. wanted the same 1980 style to go right. in there. So I went on. This was four years ago. I went online and I found a company that sold them. Okay. <laughs> right. So I put them on, but um, we have a. Oh, what do you call it? Like a buffet server or whatever, where mm-hmm. one was hidden. Yes. And so I never bought one for that area. So anyway, just the other day. Out in my junk pile. No, no, no. Oh, don't, okay. don't jump on me, okay? Okay. Just the other day, I realized that had a different vent on it. I had okay. put a new style on it when I did the molding or whatever. Right. You know what I mean? And so it didn't match all the other ones. And it just ate me alive okay so i went online trying to find that same supply company and i couldn't find it i plugged in everything to google you know 80s heater registers you know heat pump companies you know i don't know everything i couldn't find it i go out in his garage when i was looking for that dvd player and there was the four-year-old cardboard box sitting out there with the name i keep everything i (laughs) keep it all so i went right in the house I looked that company up, and they still sold those same 1980 heat registers. Right. So I ordered one, and it came in the next day, and I was very happy. Wow. Yeah. So, anyway, so the moral of the story is, folks, don't throw away anything. I don't know. I'm not going to call it a junk pile anymore. I'm going to call it a pot of gold. I have my own story about something old coming up. Okay. Well, you want to tell it now? Well, were you done? Yeah, I'm done with the... Okay, so the birthday was great. I want to thank you for your yeah. role in it. The dumplings were fantastic. Yeah. Our, our family always co- gets together and loves your cooking, and uh, it was a good birthday. I turned 62, yeah. everybody. And um, But speaking of old inventory, can I do this? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. We've got an item that we have been selling like hotcakes at Weller's in Bridgeville, okay? We have these hand sanitizers, Okay. They're like battery operated, all right? We've got them brand new in the box, okay? Brand new in the box. They come with the bat. No, we're taking the batteries out because they're so old, the batteries have rusted through and stained the box, okay? Wow. okay? So no batteries. They're brand new. They're normally like $30, $40. We're selling them for 5 bucks. okay? This is a touchless uh, hand sanitizer dispenser. It's a dispenser. So I was explaining to everybody, these are as is. We're not taking them back. And I was thinking, wonder when they were made. What's the date on there, Denise? How, how long ago were these made? 9-11-01? 9-11-01 is when these were made. Wow. Yep. And they're brand new in the box. So some people would say they're actually antique, which would make them more valuable. <laughs> but if you need a hand sanitizer dispenser, oh. we have less than 1,000 left. I think we sold two or 300 yesterday. So uh, they're selling all night long on eBay. On eBay, we're getting 23 bucks a piece. But at Wellers and Bridgeville, we're selling them for 5 bucks to kind of help people in our community. But then if you need the chemical that goes in it, this is a Clorox bleach-free hand sanitizer, um, like a you know container of it. Now, it's a little outdated. But it's mostly alcohol, and it still works just fine, That's okay? That's wonderful. <laughs> okay? And these are normally $20, $25 a piece. We're selling them for $3. We had one gentleman buy 70 of them yesterday. He sold okay? a bargain and At 3 bucks. It. And when did they expire, folks? April of 2011. So but that's I, okay. Right. I can sell expired bubble gum, expired hand sanitizer. Who knows what it's going to be next, all right? So we have fun doing this, and this is where Denise and I are making our retirement money from, Mm -hmm. all this old, odd, strange stuff, okay? So anyway, um, if you need a hand sanitizer dispenser, they're 5 bucks. If you need the refills, there's 3 Call Bridgeville before you go because we only have a few hundred left and somebody might come in and buy all of them, 337-8228. What do you think of all that, Denise? I think it's pretty awesome. It's sickening right how we have so much but it's sad how 
what had to come for, in order for you to sell them. That is true. It's just like when that a hurricane came, he sold, and I sold lots all of generators. generators and chainsaws. So now this virus comes, and now you're selling all your other stuff. But the moral of the story is what, don't be, throw be anything prepared. Away. Don't throw anything away. And when you're looking for outdated inventory, I might just have it. Jim's the place to go. Jim's. Jim's junk. <laughs> Jim's junk. Jim's junk. <laughs> All right. Anything anyway, else? Well, I wanted to say that um, I was going to say, talk we'll about the it. Rehoboth Chocolate Fest was I, today, I, but it's canceled. Correct. So right, I just want to yeah. make sure everybody knows that. Yeah. But um, if you stay in small things, they're still going on. Like the Bridgeville Library is having contemporary yoga. Saturday from 9.30 to 10.30, it's every Saturday, and from Tuesdays from 6 to 7. Okay. Yeah, and I love yoga. It makes you feel good and gets you stretched. Anyway, yep. it's free, open to ages 10 and older. Bring your yoga mat and um, have fun. And also right. on Tuesday, they have family fun night from 6.30 to 8. If they're having games, bingo, green snacks, that might be vegetables, and um, good family fun, and they're telling you to wear green. All right, for St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to leave you if that's okay. Okay. Did, you did real good. <laughs> okay, I'm sure I did. <laughs> <laughs> no, you did. Okay. It's okay. All good. Yeah, it's all, all right, good. let's part on a good note, all okay, right? Okay, good note. We're going to see each other again today. <laughs> all right, everybody, so that's what's going on, and I want to thank Rudy's Family Restaurant for hosting the show. And I want to talk about Dry Zone, another good sponsor of the show. Really appreciate their support. And, <laughs> and Dry Zone does all kinds of stuff. Um, and they do crawl space encapsulation. They do electrical work. A lot of people don't realize that. You need another outlet here or there. You got a light that needs replacing or a new light put up. Whatever you may need, they can help, help you with that. They do floor coating, like for your garage floor, if you want it to look like new or better than new, they have this Spartech floor coating system that they can put down, and uh, it just looks like a brand new you know, floor. It's really cool. And uh, they also, if your basement's leaking and it's never leaked before, you're uncovering the pool soon and you got some concrete that's not just level enough or just right, um, they can level it up with their poly level service. So anyway, there's a lot of things they have to offer. There's a lot of things they can do. And uh, they're just a great company. And if you're looking for a career change, they're always looking for new people to be on Team Dry Zone. Team Dry Zone. So anyway, give them a call um, at 684 5034. You can schedule your free, you know, home inspection if you need something looked at and uh, no charge for that. They're not real pushy or anything. They're going to come out, tell you what they can do. They have good solutions. They have great warranties. Their prices are good. Great local company. It's called Dry Zone. Dryzone.com on the web. 684-5034 if you want to call them. Extremely active on Facebook. Just a great place. And again, like I say, if you're looking for a career change, they're always looking for more people to hire. They're growing like crazy. So anyway, Team Dry Zone, DryZone.com. Check them out. Look them up on the web. Stop by and say hi. They're on Route 16 in Ellendale. All right. So I'm going to be busy taking old home videos and turning them into CDs or DVDs. Maybe we'll play them on the show. I'll certainly play them on Facebook for sure. But anyway, it was a great gift. It's going to be a lot of fun. And we had a blast sitting there watching those videos. I mean, it was just to see my grandkids see their parents, you know, as children was really interesting to watch that. All right. So anyway, Weller's Utility Trailers is open today. Open today at 8 o'clock. We got a lot going on. We're open today, I think, till 2 or 3. Uh, so if you need a shed, a carport, a swing set, an Amish-made vinyl swing set, or whatever you may need, come on into Weller's and let us see what we can do to help you. A lot of our products still qualify for 12 months, same as cash. 12 months, same as cash. Um, if you want to um, take advantage of that, it has to be a $1,000 purchase or greater. Somebody asked yesterday if they had a couple trailers that they needed, tires and wheels or one trailer, and they wanted wheel bearings and a new floor, and could they use the one-year same as cash to do trailer repairs? Yes, you can. So it's pretty much anything we do. There's a few things it doesn't cover, but it's got to be $1,000 or more. Just give the store a call at 337-8228, 337-8228. And they'll tell you all about the 12 months same as cash program. All right, what is next? We have uh, in a little while, in a little while, we're going to be talking to who is my next guest? The mayor of Dover. 
Robin Christensen has arrived. I believe he's eating his breakfast. In a little bit, we're going to get him on after 7.30 and uh, chit-chat with what's going on. It's got to be pretty stressful right now to be uh, a political figure, a mayor, somebody that's got to make decisions. Um, so I just want to let you know. Um, what was I getting ready to say? I want to let you know that he's going to be here, and we're going to chit-chat with him about what it's like to be the mayor of Dover. Okay, now let's talk about no nonsense office machines real quick. This is our friend Rick Fowler. This is a sponsor segment, and I just want to let you know that he is a good guy. So if you got a computer and it's not working just right, if you need a new computer or a used one or a laptop or something like that, he's got all kinds of stuff. He sells copiers and he has monitors and keyboards. If you've got something where your screen is cracked, um, you know, uh, he can help you with that. He works on cell phones and things like that. So he does a lot of different things. Now, the one nice thing about him is he won't make anything any worse than what it is. So if you've got something that needs working on, uh, he, he'll give you an estimate. He'll take a look at it, no charge, and uh, tell you what's what. Uh, no charge to fix it, no charge to look at it. But anyway, he's located like two miles east of the circle in Georgetown. And uh, it's called No Nonsense Office Machines. And uh, been around a long time. I've dealt with him for years and years. I'm very happy with him. He's honest. He's fair. He will help you however he can help you. So his phone number is 856-7381, 856-7381, nonsenseoffice.com on the web. Like him on Facebook. He's very active there. And like I say, if you have anything in the electronic world, even if you need some input or advice, he'll help you out any way he can. And if you have a Weller's discount card, you'll save $25 on a service. Like if you have something serviced, you'll save $25 by using your Weller's discount card. Now, I can see the sun is rising. Wow, that's quite a, quite a sun thing. What do I, I don't know what to do. We're at a new location, everybody. And I did not get a toupee for my birthday. I thought I would, but I didn't. So if I had of, it would have reduced the glare in here. But anyway, the sun is rising, everybody. So good morning, good morning, good morning to you. And um, it's just... Um, it's just interesting to um, figure out all these technical challenges. So um, if there's a glare or a blur or whatever, it's because the sun is coming up. So anyway, I mentioned earlier about them IRS phone calls. Please be aware. It's a scam, everybody. It's a scam. But um, I wanted to mention it because a friend of mine wanted me to mention it, and I'm mentioning it. And uh, I, again, when they called me and told me they had suspended my Social Security number, I took the wrong reaction. I was like, thank you. Thank you. In other words, you know, now I don't have to pay any taxes. But that wasn't what it was about. They want you to send some money here and there. So please remember, the IRS is not going to call you. They're going to mail you whatever they need to tell you. All right. So what in the world do you want me to do with the sun? Don't worry about it. I'm fine with it. Don't worry about it. All right. So everybody, if I look a little younger because I look like the sun is shining on me, the sun is always shining on me. So anyway, I have a glow about me is what it is. I have a glow. So we are at Rudy's family restaurant in Harrington, okay? Great place, open 365, I don't know if they're open 300, they're open 24 seven, that much I know. That much I know, they're open 24 seven. Uh, big place, you can bring a group of 10 people, you can bring a group of 100 people. There's rooms all over that they can fit you in and just bring them on, they're here. So if you want breakfast, lunch, or dinner, and uh, what, what did I see on here? Did I see breakfast menu is available all day? Kinda cool. But, you know, if you need a place to go, I recommend Rudy's Family Restaurant. If you want to stop by and say hello, I've got these little um, things that you put on your keychain that give you 10% off all your purchases at Rudy's. Okay? It's kind of cool. I could save you 10% if you stop by and say hi. And I might even give you a couple gift cards to Vanderwins. If you can't stop, pull up out front and blow your horn or bring a big truck and block the sun. So, anyway, uh, we're, I hear the radio. We're taking a break. Taking a break from the radio. We don't stop on TV. We don't stop on Facebook. So switch over to James J. Weller Jr. on Facebook. Are you two ready to come on? We need a breakfast review. It's up to you. Delicious. Okay. All right. Well, anyway, so people are coming and going. And uh, we're going to be here every week, just so you know. Broadcasting live. We're live on the radio. We're live on TV. So if you ever want to join me, we're looking for some breakfast reviews. Okay? So anyway, good morning, everybody. And... Um, what did I want to talk about next? I think Colin's going to be calling in or something like that. Is he? He's not. All right. Well, then I'm going to do Colin's commercial. First of all, I want to remind you, if you need your automobile worked on, oil change, brakes, tune-up, whatever, please check out Wall Service Center downtown Milford. Great third generation. Colin II's the fourth generation. 
This business has been around like 62 years. They do quality work. They use AC Delco parts. They're good people. And um, I just remind uh, Tracy, we got to start that timer when I do that, just so you know, for Collins Commercial. But anyway, um, I think he likes 25 minutes. But anyway, um, uh, what was I going to say? So let's talk about TV Delmarva. Colin and his crew have a TV station called TV Delmarva. They've just acquired a frequency in Seifert, channel 14. Plus, they're on your Roku device. They're on your Amazon Fire Stick, tvdelmarva.com, and TV Delmarva on Facebook. But listen to me. Colin is reaching out to small businesses. So if you are a small business and you are being impacted by all these closings and adjustments due to the coronavirus, and you would like some free publicity, or maybe he's going to set up a small business roundtable. Maybe we'll do like a, a, a conference call where people can all call in and have something to say or something. You know, we're going to, not we, it's Colin and his team are going to be helping businesses, you know, get the word out about how this is affecting you and what can we do to help one another stay strong during this challenging time. And that's the thing, folks. Don't get frustrated. Don't panic. God is still in control, but on top of that, we're going to be fine, okay? We're going to be just fine. So I just want to let you know that, you know, you got to think outside the box, be willing to adjust and adapt, and that's what Colin's saying. He's saying, hey, if we can get together and help you promote your business, he's going to do it at no charge. You know, he's hoping in the future maybe you buy some advertising off him, but either way, he wants to come together with you to help promote how this has affected you, what difference it's made, and what can we do to help each other survive and endure this trying time. Um, quite frankly, I always do real good when it comes to being creative because that's what I'm kind of good at, thinking outside the box. So um, if there's anything I can do for you, let me know also. So anyway, I just wanted to say good morning, good morning, good morning. Thank you for watching the show. I'd like to take a phone call. Is there anybody watching on Channel 14? Anybody watching on Channel 14, I'd like you to call me right now at 422-7336. 422-7336. If you're watching on Channel 14, I'd like to know how's it coming in. How's it look? How's it sound? What is it like? Channel 14, anybody out there, call me now. 422-7336. 422-7336. Operators are standing by. We are ready for your call at 422-7336. If you're watching on Channel 14, would you please call? Or I guess if you're watching at all, I just need a phone call. I want to make sure the phones are working, okay? So call anybody um, if you're watching on Facebook. We're on, I can't remember how many. I know it's less than a dozen Facebook pages. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube. We're on TV Del Marva. We're on the radio. We're kind of everywhere, and we're live right here inside Rudy's Family Restaurant, okay? And we want you to stop by and say hello and check things out and see what this place is all about. They are here 24-7. So got a lot of different things to tell you about today. Very full show. Got lots of stuff. Um, but I want to invite you to check out Rudy's Family Restaurant. Also, if you would, like Weller's. Weller, it's not Weller's. It's Weller Does Del Marva on the Facebook. Like that page if you would. Um, I'm always looking for um, people to be on. So if you uh, own a business and you want some publicity, uh, let me know. We'll get you on this show. If you own a business and you want to buy an ad on a big electronic billboard, it's actually the only billboard from uh, Millsboro all the way to Frederica on 113. We can help you there. We can get you uh, get your message out there like 50,000 times in a month if you want. So anyway, we got a lot of different ways to help you get the word out. But uh, at Weller's in Bridgeville, business is pretty darn strong. We had another 10-trailer day. Them 10-trailer days are fantastic, but it takes about two hours from start to finish to sell a trailer. And uh, we're usually a little bit tired at the end of those days, but we're having two and three of them a week. But it is the season. So if you need a utility trailer, new, used, open, and enclosed, maybe you don't need a trailer. Maybe you got a trailer and you don't need it. I'd love to buy it. I'd like to buy about 10 used trailers a day if I could find them. So anyway, if you got a trailer and you want to sell, we'll just buy it. If you've got truckloads of outdated inventory that's still sellable, we have so much fun selling this odd and strange and unique stuff. That's kind of what brightens our day when we can sell, you know, hundreds of something or 70 of something or something like that. So anyway, thank you for watching the show. This is show number, what number is this show? 340. We've done this show nonstop 
340 times. I can't even believe we've made it that long. But anyway, it's here at Rudy's Family Restaurant in Harrington. We're going to do the show here each and every Saturday morning for the next six months, and then we're going to move again. We're trying to move the show um, and be fair to everybody, all communities, and we're trying to move it every six months if we can. So if you would like to host this show six months from now, please let me know, okay? So uh, that's what we're doing. So anyway, it's Weller Does Delmarva. The phone has not rang once today, so we really need you to call. If you would be kind enough to call and just say good morning and tell me where you're calling from and how you're watching or listening, we would appreciate it. 422-7336 because we're nervous that the phone's not working. And when we need it, we need it. So it's 422-7336. Now I'm being told to prep for the radio. So I hear it now. So anyway, um, we're coming back live on the radio, on the radio. Yes, we are. I hear the music. So I want to say thank you to Kate. It takes a whole mess of people to make this show work. Like we've got Kate back at the studio. Facebook has got a whole team of people making sure that we're on all these different Facebook pages. Uh, YouTube has got everything going on. Then we got TV Del Marva. They got a studio in Lincoln. There's people that got up early and got back there this morning to make sure everything worked. Colin Walls was here himself, uh, the Colin Walls, and we appreciate his support too. So anyway, thank you for watching the show. Thank you for listening to the show. Thank you for buying advertisement on the show. And I am going to invite Mayor Robin Christensen to make his way on around if he would. And um, I believe he brought one of his daughters who is going to sing the national anthem for us. And uh, we're very excited about that also. No, I just was kidding about that. But let me do a real quick sponsor segment for my chiropractor. This is uh, my chiropractor, okay? His name is Dr. Trillia, Dr. T, I call him, and Dr. Bud. So this is a sponsor segment. And Peninsula Chiropractic Center has been helping me with aches and pains and annoyances for years. And I love dealing with them, okay? And one day I told the story about my granddaughter who was having some hearing problems. And somebody asked me to tell this story again. So what I'm saying is a lot of people don't realize it, but chiropractic care, you know, everything starts and ends with the central nervous central nervous system okay so i'm telling you chiropractic care is all about having things in alignment everything working good okay everything firing on all eight or 12 cylinders or six cylinder if you got a six cylinder so anyway dr t dr bud they are doctors of chiropractic and i love dealing with them peninsula chiropractic center whether it's from me holding my ipad too much and my wrist needs some adjustment they can do that they have dealt with my shoulder my knee uh, they have tried to do some mental therapy, but uh, that didn't work. But anyway, I love dealing with them. It's like a wellness center. So people say, how often do you go to the chiro? I go at least once a month, and I've been known to go once a week. So anyway, I'm just letting you know, if you have any aches or pains and you think chiropractic will help, check them out. If you uh, have insurance and you want to know what your insurance does or doesn't cover, they can help you with that. If you've been in an auto accident, you know, it is usually covered by the car insurance. So anyway, it's Peninsula Chiropractic Center. Good people, honest, fair. When you call on the phone, you're going to immediately know they, they are accommodating how what works for you. They can make it work for you. So anyway, it's not two. It's 302-302-629-629. 4344-629-4344, Peninsula, Peninsula, Cairo Center com on the web. Yes, they're very active on Facebook. Check them out there and tell them I sent you, 629-4344, and uh, they'll do a good job. So good morning, Dr. T, Dr. Bud, if you're listening, thank you for your friendship and your support of the show and getting the kinks and knots out of me, okay? Now, here he is, a good friend of mine, a good supporter of the show, a good friend of the show, is uh, Mayor of Dover, Robin Christensen. You're wearing your shades? Is the glare that bad? No. <laughs> Just joking. How, how are you? Jim, how are you? Real good. Thank you for coming down. Well, thanks for having and, me. And um, it was kind of spur of the moment. I uh, reached out and said, I'd like you to join us on our first time doing the show here, because we're in Kent County now. Yes, sir. And um, we're getting closer to Dover. Well, we <laughs> keep inviting you and Colin to Dover. Yep, and, uh, you never we're know. We're getting you a little bit closer. Right, we're in Harrington so far anyway. Yes, sir. All right, so it's been a challenging time, I'm sure, being in your position right now. Uh, this coronavirus is affecting all of us. Well, for the last uh, two weeks, we've been in constant contact with the Division of Health and Social Services, uh, Dr. Carol Rote and Secretary Odom Walker and the Governor's Office. Uh, Thursday we had a briefing on 
uh, what was getting ready to transpire. And yesterday we had a conference call. The mayor's in Delaware had a conference call with Governor Carney, and he gave us a, an overview of what was going to transpire uh, during the time of his uh, state of emergency that okay. he's declared. Uh, we've been putting some contingencies in place over the last uh, several weeks because we are operating a business. We have a nighttime population of about 40,000, which grows because of uh, being the capital, uh, shopping center area, schools, uh, Dover Air Force Base. Our population swells to about 75,000 people. So wow. we have all those issues to worry about. So we've been coordinating uh, efforts through our police department, our volunteer fire department, and our uh, uh, St. Francis EMS service uh, in anticipation of exactly what's transpired. So. Uh, I've been criticized for being uh, a little bit uh, over the top on, on being concerned about this okay. potential pandemic, but I would rather err on the side of being wrong oh. than, uh, than have to account for a uh, situation that's out of control. Right, and I, and I admire you for that. In other words, you know, I'd, I'd rather you be as proactive as you can be. You know, and and we, uh, we undertook to uh, close the city's library because uh, of, of certain conditions there. It's going to be closed through the end of April, uh, but we are taking advantage of doing uh, a number of uh, uh, high-priority high, uh, uh, cleanings, but we're also going to do some renovations. So we're, we're trying to take advantage of, uh, of a situation that uh, you know, needs to be handled, mm -hmm. but also do some other things that, that we need to do while, while we're down. And is, it, is there something, like if you have an event now a lot of events are being canceled just just in the uh, what's that word just an abundance of caution in other words you know right. just to be on the safe side one of the most uh one of the most heartbreaking i think uh, mr weller is uh is the fact that the dover high school uh senior boys basketball team were in the final four oh, for the okay. uh, state championship and a lot of those young people were seniors last year they lost by uh, by one point I remember uh, they, that. Yeah, they had the opportunity to to go out on top as seniors, and and uh, their games were canceled. So everybody gets a also rank uh, uh, trophy. Okay. And if I had my druthers, I'd like to see them play in a closed uh, setting. If if we're worried about right. you know, people being there, but uh, those young folks were built out of that. And of course, we have a lot of premier events that uh, yes. are coming up as uh, spring unfolds, and uh, a lot of them to date have been put in in jeopardy. We have an annual commemoration of the Vietnam War uh, on the 28th of March, and I got an email this morning that that's canceled, oh, and a really? number of other events that, that we have within the city. So we're looking, the next premier events we have are the auto race, uh, the car race at Dover Downs, and Old Dover Days, which is the first part of May, and I'm hoping by that time There's we better. have the situation under control, because I think the only time that Old Dover Days has ever been uh, canceled or postponed was due to World War II. Golly day. Wow. Well, I bet it's it's a hot seat you're in right now. In other words, you know, just trying to get everything figured out, make good, solid decisions, because we're all guessing on the unknown. In other words, we don't we don't want this to get any worse. And uh, and certainly, like I said, because of the uh, the location that the city is in uh -oh. and the number of things that, uh, you know, the people that trans uh, go through the city of Dover, we have to be, you know, conscious of who's coming in and out and just taking just every ordinary, everyday precautions, washing your hands, things your mother uh, taught you years ago, uh, and just make sure that, you know, you cough into your arm. And, and I, I noticed... Do the that, elbow bump or whatever. I noticed something the other day that I hadn't seen for a long time, and I thought I was the only person that still carried them. Uh, people are starting to carry... Uh, cloth handkerchiefs again. Oh. And uh, I thought that was kind of funny because before I was ever able to leave the house when I was a kid to go to school, my mom always put a, a handkerchief in my pocket. Wow. Well, I actually, you know, have kind of been in business since I was a student in school selling things and stuff. And I was prepping all my grandchildren for a new business venture. I was going to send them to school with hand sanitizers and tell them to charge the kids 10 cents a squirt so they can sanitize their hands. I thought it was a great I, idea. I see some future entrepreneurs. <laughs> well, you know, I was stocking up on them. If you look in some of the stores, the shelves have been inundated and oh. been cleaned out. And my wife went on uh, Google and she found a recipe, 
how to make with aloe and alcohol your own hand sanitizer. Really? So if people are up against the wall and uh, wow, your uh, new product coming you can, out, you can work that out. Wow, there's there's always a way, isn't there? Oh yes, that's the American spirit. You know, uh, we're up against the wall, and we seem to come out with some innovations that that allow us to move forward. And, Absolutely. Uh, I've always said, and I probably said this here, and people sometimes get tired of hearing this. Uh, America is not, uh, and America's success is not based on who the leaders are of the country, right, left, Republican, or Democrat. It's in the people. Mm -hmm. And it's for 242 people. years, the spirit of the American people and their resolve to do what needs to be done has carried us forward, and it will carry us through on this. Yep. I and agree. I have confidence in the people. Yep, I agree. Yep, because we, the people, are going to get it done. Yes, sir. All right. Well, I'm going to say thank you for coming on. You're welcome. And um, if you happen to be able to reach out to Governor Carney, I would love to have him on between 8 and 9. I did post it on Facebook. I thought that was the official way to invite the governor on. But I'd like to get him on this morning, if at all possible. But uh, anyway, but I'm sure he's busy. We, we may send him a message for you. I can't right. guarantee that they'll respond back because well, they've got busy. their hands full. But uh, yeah. But anyway, I just threw it out there. Um, so uh, do you come to Rudy's often? Ever been before? We've been here, and we've been here for the buffets that they have and the okay. breakfast buffet. And in my other lifetime, when I worked for Simplex Grinnell, and we used to work over at Burris uh, Foods uh, doing their fire inspections and fire pump tests, I used to bring my crew over here in the morning, really? feed them a healthy breakfast because working in the freezers there where it's 40 below, yeah. you know, you had to be a little bit of hale and hearty. And, uh, Rudy's is Rudy serves some outstanding food and and I will give my breakfast review. Okay. Yum. Yum. And I'm gonna give you one of these. It's wow. for ten percent off. Thank you, sir. Every time you come to Rudy's. How do you like that? I appreciate that greatly. You can put that on your keychain. And now I'm, do you ever go to Vanderwinds? Oh, uh, Katie could tell you about that. All right, I'm gonna give you four of these. One, two, three, four. Okay? Thank you, sir. It says for a single scoop, if they happen to give you two, we don't want you to be upset. They're very generous from what I hear. As you can see that I am an aficionado of all things that are good. I'm a little bit pleasingly plump, so uh, oh, if God. they give me two scoops, you'll not hear me complain. All right. I like to consider myself round and rosy. So anyway, um, thanks for coming. Anything else you want to say? Uh, just, you know, uh, as you've said over and over again, uh, God will lead us through this. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, this isn't the first challenge that... Uh, that we've had and, and every uh, everything like this just makes us stronger. It does, and we gotta remember we're in it together. And I, that is true, and uh, I appreciate you having me on. This is well, fun. I'm, I'm glad you came. So anyway, we'll be here for six months. Can I come back? Yes, you can. All right. Just let us know. We'd like to have you on at least uh, every other month if you would. Thanks, Mr. How's Chair. that? All right, All right, I'll see you. Take care. All right. All right, and did you wanna speak, young lady? No, she does a good job. She's supposed to sing the national anthem. Yes, you want to? Yeah, I think she's like, leave me alone. All right. You're on the verge of harassing me. All right. So anyway, good morning, everybody. And yes, that was an official invite. If Mr. Governor Carney could make it here, it would be great. I'd love to talk a little bit between 8 and 9 or 8 and 8.30 or 8.30 and 9. Just the state of Delaware. I'd love to get an update on the show. So anyway, what in the world is going on next? Um, I wanted to mention another good sponsor of the show. All my sponsors are good sponsors. I want to I want to make sure you all know that when you hear me talk about these businesses, they're businesses I deal with. They're friends of mine, of course, you know. And uh, what that means is they're going to do a good job for you, not just because we're friends, just because they're good businesses, okay? So, and one of them is my accountant. And it's the time of year everybody's doing their taxes. Um, the people that get tax returns, you know, they've got them. And the people that are paying taxes are putting it off and being as creative as they can, and that's me. That's me. I'm trying to be as creative as I can to pay no more taxes than I have to, but I do like being a tax-paying citizen, okay? So anyway, with that said, if you need an accountant, this is a sponsor segment. This is Luff & Associates. They've been dealing with me for years. We've been together, I'm thinking, a good 30 years. I know they've been in business 31, 32 years, something like that, but um, I think I've been dealing with them a good 25, 30 years. But anyway, uh, Luff & Associates is my accountant, and they have an office in Milford, then they have one in Rehoboth, and one in Dover. And I like them. I, it's George Luff, his son Tyler, and a whole team of people. It's Team Luff. 
and uh, they've been doing my bookkeeping uh, and my accounting stuff and my payroll. The payroll is called Easy Payroll, and I, we love that. Uh, used to be when my daughter would go on vacation because we like to vacation as a family a lot, and uh, she would always have to do payroll in the middle of her vacation. And now with Luff and Associates and their Easy Payroll system, she does not have to deal with that. So anyway, if you own a business and you got two employees, or, or hundreds of employees, the Easy Payroll can help you with your payroll. You don't even have to deal with them for your accounting work. If you um, happen to want a new accountant uh, and uh, you want some help or you want some advice or some input, they're always looking for new clients. So anyway, it's LuffCPAs.com on the web. And uh, you can also call them on the phone. It's 302-422-9699, 422-9699. And um, I really like dealing with them, and I think you will too, okay? So you're saying, where are you today? Today we are inside of Rudy's Family Restaurant in Harrington, and we're inviting you. I've seen a lot of people already coming and going, people I know. It's a very busy place. So if you want to come and have some breakfast and watch the show, feel free to do so. Um, we had some people show up this morning that kind of – Follow us around and keep an eye on us and make sure we're straight. But uh, if you're here or nearby and you want to get a couple gift cards to Vanderwins, stop in and say hi to me, and I'll give you a couple gift cards to Vanderwins. And if you happen to want one of these discount um, uh, little cards for Rudy's, it will save you 10% each and every time you come in here and eat, okay? Now, what is the next thing that I want to talk about? The Weller's discount card also. If you don't have one of them, they're only 10 bucks. We sell them at Weller's in Bridgeville. There's 18 different businesses on there that give you discounts, so you might want to check that out. And another thing I wanted to talk about was another sponsor. It is called McMullen Septic Service, okay? And a lot of people say, you know, how, hi, how you doing? Yep, a lot of people coming, a lot of people going. Anyway, people say, how do you get excited about talking about a septic system company? Well, it's this simple. I got many properties. I got my personal home. I got, um, you know, my office complex. Then I got Wellers in Bridgeville. And then I got a whole bunch of rental properties. And I'm always needing something done. And what it usually is, is one of my tenants calls up and says, the septic system's not working. And, of course, you want to get them handled just as quick as we can. And that's what I like about McMullen. Their, their response is quick. They do a great job. I like their prices. They know what they're doing. They call me up and tell me what was wrong, and they told me that they have took care of it, and it's not a lot of um, what do you want us to do, or they just know what they're doing. So whether it's just something as simple as a pumping or if you have something that has failed or you're getting ready to sell your property. I had a friend of mine. They're selling their house. And when you sell a property now, you have to have something inspected. In other words, um, you have to have things inspected now when you do a house sale. So what I want to let you know is, is that um, when you are selling your house, McMullen Septic can do that. In other words, Colin, are you over there talking about me? I knew you were talking about me, saying she just broke his concentration. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, what I'm saying is if you need a good person to pump your septic system, if you have a system that has failed or you're having a problem or you're building an addition and you need to expand your system, maybe you need a brand new system, maybe you're building a house and you don't know who to deal with, maybe you're building um, an addition and you need something, but this friend of mine is selling their house and they really didn't know who to call and I said, you call McMullen, they'll help you out because when you sell a house now, you have to have your septic system inspected and that way the new buyer knows exactly what they're getting. Estimates are free. They do residential and they do commercial. They serve all of Sussex County and Southern Kent County and they're locally owned and operated and uh, they're their third generation. So right now, Brian and Mike McMullen are running it and doing a good job. Been in business over 60 years. What a good company. So. I don't know what else to say, except you call McMullen Septic if you have any septic problems. Tell them I sent you. Estimates are free. Phone number is 302-629-6221. That's 629-6221, McMullenSeptic.net. McMullenSeptic.net on the web. And, yes, they're extremely active on Facebook. So we are here. Uh, we are inside the uh, restaurant called Rudy's family restaurant and you are invited you are invited and uh, lots of different things going on here today and we're looking for people to stop by and say hello now i do want to just briefly tell you that we do have these this is not a joke i mentioned it earlier these are brand new in the box but they're old they're new old inventory they are a touchless hand sanitizer dispenser so it's a battery operated dispenser it does not come with the batteries they are rotted so they're brand new in the box you got to buy a couple batteries 
to put in it. They're $5 each. You can look these things up online. They're $25 to $45 pretty much anywhere else. Um, and we're selling them for five bucks. Now, the problem is I've only got a few hundred left and you laugh and say, well, that's a lot. Not when people buy 10, 20, 30 of them at a time. So we've had a lot of companies come in and buy these. Then this is the refill thing that goes in it. So it does not come with any in it. So you buy the dispenser for $5 and you can buy these for $3. Now these are also outdated. So keep that in mind. They were outdated in 2011, but they still work just fine. So it's a Clorox bleach-free hand sanitizer refill or the dispenser. The refills are three bucks each. You can buy all you want. We had somebody yesterday buy 70 of them things. So anyway, we're selling them pretty quick. Call the store before you go because I don't know if we even have any left right this minute. It's 337-8228, 337-8228, and uh, see if we have any. I do want to say thank you to all the people that have been buying trailers lately. We've had a really good outpouring of business. We've been a little busier than normal. We do have some new employees, so we want to ask you to be patient with us. Uh, one of our newest additions, which has been very exciting, um, a gentleman who um, has come to work with us who was in the trailer business, Crichton's Trailers, uh, has closed his business and come on board with Wellers. So he is going to be my new manager of the store. His name is Chuck Crichton. If you know him, a lot of people have already been in and said, I know that guy. So if you know Chuck Crichton and uh, you want to deal with him, he knows trailers inside and out. He's probably as knowledgeable or more knowledgeable than I. So we have quite a team at Wellers now, and we got a really good group. Whether you need a shed, Amish-made sheds, uh, the Amish-made vinyl swing sets, we're starting to sell a lot of them. And you can use them for the one year same as cash if you want. If you want to get one and just have a small monthly payment, pay the thing off in a year, you don't pay a penny in interest for one of those Amish made vinyl swing sets. So anyway, lots of different things qualify for one year, same as cash. But anyway, just check out wellers.com. Stop on in Route 13 in Bridgeville. Say hello and see all the different things we have going on. I see Justin Ward has arrived. We're going to have him on right after 8 o'clock. We take a break at the top of the hour, and then we'll have Justin on, and we'll just see what he's got going on. L&W Insurance Agency, another one of my good friends, good sponsors of the show. Um, I just bought a new form of insurance recently. I thought I had bought it all. So this is a sponsor segment. L&W Insurance Agency can bond me. I've had to be bonded now. I am on a tax ditch, and uh, we're supposed to be bonded. So now I'm officially bonded, which is another form of insurance, okay? So anyway, just one more layer of insurance. But if you need insurance, I love L&W Insurance Agency. They are local. They've been around now over 80 years, over 80 years. Now, Bill Strickland owns it, and it doesn't mean that he's old. It just means he has got a business that's been around for a long time. Bill's a friend of mine. I like to give him a hard time. But anyway, L&W Insurance Agency, whether you need something personal, whether you need life insurance, health insurance, whether you need uh, um, business insurance, liability insurance, car insurance, boat, plane, motorhome, motorhome, or jet ski, whatever. If you need insurance, L&W can help you out, personal, residential, if you have rentals, whatever you may need. I find them very helpful, very knowledgeable. Um, when I have a claim, it's not my worry. They take care of it. They get involved. I love dealing with L&W Insurance Agency. So phone number, everybody ready? Give them a call because if you have insurance, they'll look at what you have and give you a second opinion for free. You got nothing to lose. It's 856-7828, 856-7828lwinsurance.com on the web and like them on Facebook if you would. Very, very, very active there. So anyway, the sun has moved a little bit, so the glare is much better. We'll just have to keep that in mind. I'll get one of them little uh, fans like you have at the fair and I'll just hold it up over here, you know, and... Um, you know, do that. Uh, we do have some sponsor opportunities on the show. So if you want to join the show, be on the show. If you would like to sponsor the banner that's behind me, um, there's just lots of different things. We're going to get what's called a sandwich board here to talk about the show and put it right out in the restaurant. If you want to buy an advertisement on that, you can do that. So there's a lot of different little things coming up that you can buy some advertising on. And uh, I'd love to help promote your business. So we are looking for people that own a business that are looking for some publicity, that are looking to get the word out our audience um, I don't have any exact numbers but I know we're talking to a few thousand people every Saturday morning uh, we're on uh, seven or eight Facebook pages we're on TV Delmarva we're on Roku we're on uh, YouTube you can get us on TV Delmarva on your Amazon 
Fire Stick. You can get us lots of different places right here, also on Delaware 105.9. So we're talking to lots of people, but the very interesting, unique thing about my show is it's not just radio, TV, or Facebook. It's all of it. So anyway, and then it's stored at wellerdoesdelmarva.com for future viewing. I hear the music. I hear the noise. We're taking a break from the radio. So switch over to Jim Weller, James Weller's Facebook page right now. You won't miss a thing. You won't miss a thing. Oh, my goodness. I am a little bit winded this morning. I can't believe it. I'm talking. I was started out a little nervous today. Now, Tracy, get ready. That's going to be Colin. Is it really? It's not Justin it's Ward, me. is it? Is it Justin Ward or Colin? It's me. Oh, okay. Colin. So anyway, yeah. Colin, what's up with you? Well, uh, so the, the video is looking great from uh, Rudy's, except for the sun issue. But, you know. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Good. <laughs> We asked to postpone that this morning, but apparently our message didn't go through or something. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we were just going to postpone it for like 20 minutes. That's right. That's all it took. Right. So. That's all we asked. But, uh, and but anyway, uh, so TV Delmarva, you know, we talked a little bit earlier that, that we want to help the uh, local business community, small yes. businesses. This uh, shutdown, basically, I guess, of, mm -hmm. of the economy almost uh, – you know, is, is really going to affect small businesses. It's going to affect my small business, Wall Service Center. It's going to affect your small business, well as utility trailers. And so what I'm saying is we're all in this together. Let's see if we can figure out a way to minimize the damage that it does to our business. Right. You know, there's no way to just completely stop it because it's going to happen. Right. Um, but – but let's uh, let's minimize it if we can. And uh, so at TV Delmarva, we're looking to set up some kind of uh, roundtable discussion. We're going to have businesses on there, um, and there's going to be no charge for it. So we want to get your business on, promote it. We want to talk about your business. We really this this uh, idea just came up yesterday, late afternoon, uh, that we wanted to do this. So we're still in the the brainstorming phase of it. And uh, if you have any ideas, we want to hear them. What can we do to help your business? We want to do it. We want to put it out there at no charge because, you know, frankly, right now, nobody has the extra money to, to spend, uh, you know, to, to for advertising. Um, you know, everybody's, I think, going to hunker down here a little bit. And I know I am. So uh, TV Delmarva, let's see what we can do if you have an idea of how to, uh, to, to get the word out about local businesses and how to help them through this. Give me a call, please, 302-242-8015. You can shoot me an email, colin at tvdelmarva.com. Uh, also, uh, scan your antennas. If you're in the Sussex County, you know, surrounding Maryland counties, you have an outdoor antenna, or if you know, you're in the Seaford Laurel area, uh, Bridgeville, Greenwood, scan your indoor antenna if you have that, or an outdoor. Um, Rescan and see if you can pick up Channel 14. We are there on a tower in Seaford. We're licensed to Dagsboro, but it is a Seaford tower. Okay. All right. So we want to um, get together with business people and talk about what's going on and what can we do to make a difference and, and brainstorm ideas. You know, in other words, what can we do to adjust our businesses to survive, yeah. to survive? I mean, um, there's things already been decided. It's going to be closed till April now. So uh, there's a lot of things uh, happening. So A friend of mine is, is closing in on uh, a half a million dollars in business loss. Now, he's got a sizable business, but right. you know he's closing in on half a million dollars. He's already lost in business, so mm -hmm. um, I, I feel for him. And uh, you know, it's it's a shame. It is a shame. So we're in it together. That's the thing we got to remember. Nobody's alone. We're in this together. And you're saying anything TV Del Marva can do to help get the word out. This is a no charge offer. <clears throat> We want we want to help your business. You want to, it's Colin wanting to help your business survive. Yeah. Yep. And so. uh, you know, I mean, it, it includes you too, Jim. So, so. I mean, we're gonna. Yeah. I'm sure you're gonna be working <laughs> with me on this because, you know, you and I partner together on a lot of different things, and I, I think we can, we can at least put forth a good effort. No results are guaranteed, but we're gonna give it everything we've got to help everybody get through this, including ourselves and you know, and, and our close friends and even people we don't know. So if you don't right. know us, or if you want okay. to get to know us. This is a great opportunity to work together. Yep, and I want you to know I'm open this evening, and I'm open tomorrow. So okay. I, don't, I don't mean business. I just meant if you want to do something any of those right. times. I just yeah, want you well, to know I that. Mean, there's, so. uh, the way I see it, there's no time to waste. 
No, there's no time to we waste. We have to get on this. And we need to keep each other encouraged because yes. yep. it, it's okay. We're going to survive this. I, I'm, I'm positive we're going to survive it. We're just going to have to operate and think differently. And that's like my strong point, thinking differently. So Nobody uh, has ever accused you of following the crowd, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Not even in the Georgetown Christmas Parade. <laughs> when we accidentally took the parade the wrong direction one time. Right. All everybody right. made a right, you decided to make a left. And everybody <laughs> behind me did the same thing I did. All right. Thank you, right, Colin. Thanks, Jim. See you. Bye-bye. Bye All right, everybody. So we want to let you know that that was a sincere offer. If you are watching and you are listening and you say, man, I'm in a little bit of a panic mode. I need some encouragement. I don't know what I'm going to do with my business. We're going to get together as business people. We're going to talk about different things, and we're going to see what we can do to brainstorm, maybe help do some promoting for you or something like that. So anyway, um, that's what Colin is offering with TV Delmarva, okay? So with that said, we are here. We are at Rudy's Family Restaurant. Rudy is here. Good morning. And uh, we're doing the show, and people are coming, people are going, and uh, Charlie and Betty have stopped by, and I want to say thank you to them. Appreciate their support, and I'm seeing many, many people that I know coming through the door, and uh, we're coming back on the radio. I hear that. So we're going to be live on the radio now, so we're everywhere. And um, I just want to say thank you to uh, Justin Ward. He's here. Why don't you come on over, Justin, and have a seat? And um, the one thing I did want to talk about, I want to do a commercial real quick for an event coming up. This is a fundraiser, okay? I just got this on Facebook. Um, so it's, I'm gonna just read it kind of word for word. This Sunday, which would be tomorrow from 12 to five, there is a all you can eat spaghetti dinner at the Bridgeville Firehouse. And it's to help raise some funds for uh, the family of Ellie Everton. Tickets are $12 for adults, $7 for kids 10 and under. Um, and this need has come about because um, Ellie is a third grader at Phyllis Wheatley Elementary School, and Ellie has had a heart transplant, but now is fighting an infection that is just causing some rejection. So Ellie is uh, fighting her battle up at AI DuPont. They're having this fundraiser to help raise some money. You know, the parents are having to miss time at work. You've got the travel. You've got hotel expenses, you know, and uh, this is just something that our community needs to come together. So this is at the Bridgeville Fire Hall. Um, and it is a dinner. It starts to, um, Sunday, not tomorrow, Sunday, this Sunday. It is tomorrow. Tomorrow's Sunday, right? Yeah, it is. No question. I checked my calendar. Tomorrow from 12 to 5 at the Bridgeville Fire Hall. It's an all-you-can-eat spaghetti dinner. If you um, don't need any spaghetti dinner, stop by and just drop off some money or pay for pay for the dinner for the next 10 people in line or something like that. 12 bucks a person, $7 for kids 10 and under. Let's get behind this and help Ellie and her family, okay? All right, with that said, my next guest is Justin Ward, invisible, 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 <laughs> invisible brand, invisible brand of Del. I got it's it a, wrong. It's a tongue twister. What is it? It's invisible? Invisible fence brand of Delmarva. Golly day, I'm gonna <laughs> live long enough to get this right. Invisible, invisible fence brand of Del Marva. You go a couple weekends and got it right. And Golly, this, one, this one's a tongue twister. Right, this and I don't good. even drink, you know. <laughs> All right, I don't know. Is this you? Is this something you're doing? Yep, absolutely. All right, I didn't know if you want to talk about that or not, but yep. oh, we're taking our picture. <laughs> invisible fence brand of Del Marva. Justin Ward, good sponsor of the show, supporter of the show, and a good friend and a good businessman. Yeah, you know. So what's up with you? Uh, we're just trying to uh, stay busy. Stay uh, busy, yeah. We're, we're liking this warm weather. Yeah. Uh, that's really helping out. I, I encourage people to get a hold of us and get on the schedule because yeah, it is filling do. up. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, we try to get to people within 48 hours, but this time of year it gets a little tough to do mm -hmm. that. So uh, a lot of clients, when they call, they want to do it within a day or two. Yeah, so, right now. Um, Ketchup, mustard, and I want it today. Yep, exactly. Yeah. So, But, yeah, we're uh, doing a lot of coupons. Uh, we, we do a lot of email marketing and stuff like that. So. Well, how would somebody get on your email list? They can uh, reach out to us through and Facebook. Just say, put my name on there. Yeah, put uh, okay. put their name out. There's a lot of discounts for uh, power cap plans, that. Yep. Um, collars. Uh, even if you're a new client looking for an invisible fence to get a free estimate. Okay. Uh, there's a $150 one that's floating around. $250 really? that is floating around okay. that they could uh, take advantage of. So. Uh, as we talked before, it's all about customization, working yep. with their pets, and uh, coming up with a containment solution for them. 
um, been running into a lot of like obedience training and stuff like that lately. Okay. Uh, a lot of people want to use the e-collars that they find online. Oh or in the my stores. gosh, what a waste of money. <laughs> I mean, it's not a waste of money. You get the product, you just don't get the results. Right. And what I tell people, and that's why I've kind of been running into it lately, is because we're running into where we're showing them how to use the e-collars properly and mm -hmm. establishing that foundation for their pets right away and not just going and correcting their dogs. So right. Or was, selling you something and mailing it to you in the mail. Correct. So we're, we're running into a lot of that. We're working on that as well, and um, got new new technology coming out here, probably midsummer here. So um, we're looking forward to that. Um, we're on the pro staff team, so I always tell our clients that we're always testing new products, making sure that it is safe and healthy for our pets, and uh, making sure it fits for the homes and, uh, themselves. So um, got a lot of good things going. You offer everything they can buy online and more. Plus at plus. Yep. Because you know what I find, in other words, is you can buy stuff online. But what you can't get is a local business person who's going to come out, who's going to meet your pet, going to spend time to learn the mannerism of your pet. Yeah, absolutely. Because, you know, people love their dogs. And, yeah. and, you know, and even when they run away, you miss them. Absolutely. And you don't want them to run away. And worse than running away, they get hit. Yeah. You know, yeah, so. a lot of people get nervous about the correction part of it, but there's over 52 different settings right. uh, that we work into to accompany or get it adjusted for their mm -hmm. personality. So uh, I, I tell clients, too, we go through schooling and everything now. Um, a lot of my technicians, they go to school, and we put hours in to learn how to work with these dogs and stuff like that and making sure that it is is going to be a safe and uh, great environment for them to be in. So uh, we, we do a lot of that. We When we are interviewing on our sales calls, we do a lot of um, – asking of the questions of learning right. their personality. We almost ask more about the dog than the, the client itself. Mm -hmm. So that's who we're going to be working with, and we want to establish that training around that. So, yeah. Well, I love it. I've had it for years. Um, my dogs don't know it, and I hope they're not listening, but the batteries are bad in their dog collar. <laughs> they don't know it, but I got two new batteries today. Yep, um, we got you all set. So I do want to say our uh, home show is canceled. Uh, that was for uh, oh. Ocean City next week. Um, so we're hoping that they'll reschedule that in April. Okay. That's usually a good show. Um, so check your calendars again later in April, and we'll see if that's back on the schedule. So, okay. And I do want to tell, um, we sent out an email the other day about the, um, the virus. Mm -hmm. um, we, we do have the proper precautions and stuff for, for our technicians that we don't have to have that human interaction right. uh, to go out and service your fence. So uh, we can still get things done and uh, do it in a little bit. There's a little bit more added steps, but it's more safety and um, um, more human uh, the, the, the help right. with this virus going around. So right. we everybody's work. doing their part. Yep. We're, we're trying to help out any way we can to do that. So my business is the absolute opposite. <laughs> Everything in buying a trailer, a shed or a carport is you got to come in and sign a bunch of papers. And yeah. Do it in person. But, um, we're going to get through it. Now let's switch gears for just a minute. Okay. Yep. Um, how can we help other businessmen stay in business, business people, men, women, whatever? How can we help other people stay encouraged? Because, you know, it is, it is, it is heavy, and I, I don't think we've even got into it. You know, whether people are overreacting or not overreacting, we're going to live through this. How do we encourage people to not get despaired and... Um, Get creative with their business because I consider you a creative businessman. Yeah, and I mean, uh, going forward, this is all kind of my personal opinion that uh, I think about it every day just with business. Um, I always look back and listen to some of the history that we've had throughout the United States and America and the world about how they conquered these diseases and right. stuff before. So um, everybody knows the investor Warren Buffett. Mm -hmm. um, he was on TV the other day and they were kind of talking about it and he, he told people that you got to remember that back in the early 1900s, I mean, just going to bed at night was a risk because of how we didn't have heating and air conditioning right. and stuff like that. And I, I, that kind of encourages me that, right. wow, all this new technology and stuff like that, we do have um, that to compensate for mm -hmm. it. Um, obviously, the diseases kind of get a little bit more extreme. But, right. I mean, as long as you're doing your, your take and controlling what you can control, that's my mindset around Due the whole diligence. thing. Um, I, I don't try to worry about what I can't control. Uh, it's going to happen if it's going to happen. Right. But if I can, um, like, for an example, replacing wipes on the truck and stuff right. like that, if we can do these little st steps, it, it, it's going to add up to a big uh, accomplishment over Every time. little bit makes a difference. Yeah. 
Absolutely. So I encourage people to just check new ideas. And we were talking. Think outside the box. Think outside the box a little bit, whether it's, like I said, putting wipes on the truck to uh, maybe adapting a new um, tablet for your business or something like that. That way you can do a little bit more electronic emails or something like that. Um, that, that goes a long way and you just gotta be patient. That's, Mm -hmm. I think we get too fast and, uh, and and this is a a thing that's just going to have to play itself out. So, but again, that's just my personal opinion. That's what I just, I I, I kind of, I see things a little bit, um, through our business and stuff like that. So, okay. All right, I'm going to leave you. Yep, absolutely. You want me to give the phone number real quick? Sure. For anybody that I I do want to say that we're right here on the, um, we take care of Sussex County, Delaware, for our territory. Okay. Um, uh, Bob Louie is the dealer for uh, Kent County, so I just want to share that. Um, But they can contact us at 410-546-2436. They can text that number. Um, If you're in Kent County and you're looking for Bob's number, just hit us up and I can... I can send that over to you. Because you're all a team. Yep, absolutely. So I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Have a good weekend. Oh, what do we do? (laughs) Yeah. Elbows. Elbows. Oh, my (laughs) God. Ma'am, ma'am, would she mind having a word with me on the radio? Would you like to come talk for a minute? Oh, that was a firm no. All right, just checking. I'm trying to get some kids on here, okay? Just so you know. All right, what in the world is next, everybody? Let's talk about a big auction. A big auction, okay? So naturally, this is another sponsor segment. Charlie, are you leaving us? All right. Well, you two take care. I'll see you, Betty. All right. So anyway, let's talk about an auction. There is a big auction today on Route 113 in Lincoln. So if you're looking for an event to attend, this is a sponsor segment. This is Dave Wilson, my friend, my uh, state senator, and just an all-around good guy. Wilson's Auction, Team Wilson's, is just good people. And I want to let you know, if you want something to do today or tonight, Wilson's Auction is having a big auction starting at 10 o'clock this morning. Thousands of items inside, outside, numerous auctioneers going on. It's just a great company, okay? So I'm just letting you know they've been around over 40 years. Not implying Dave's an old man, but I'm just saying he's been in business over 40 years. Talk about somebody creative and knows how to think outside the box. Wilson's Auction. So you got something you want to get sold? Call Wilson's Auction. You got something you want to buy? Get on down there today. Every Saturday from 10 into the evening, okay? Tuesday nights is an auto auction. And then mark your calendar, March 21st. It's not far away is march 21st next saturday i think it is today's the 14th next saturday in harrington harrington we need to get dave wilson on the show next saturday he won't have time but next saturday march 21st is their big spring mid-atlantic equipment auction and they're taking consignments um actually when are they going to start taking consignments they've already started they started on march 14th all the way through the 19th so if you got something you want to sell This is going to be a great auction, bringing people from all over. And uh, there's no sales tax when you buy something there and no buyer's premium. So you got something you want to consign for their mid-Atlantic, their spring mid-Atlantic equipment auction. It is March 21st at the Delaware State Fairgrounds. All right. So mark your calendars. Tell your friends. Learn more about Wilson's Auction at their website, which is is wilsonsauction.com. Hi. wilsonsauction.com. All right. So anyway, 422-3454 if you have any questions. Let's talk about ice cream real quick. I do this every week. I got Vanderwind's gift cards for free. If you are in the neighborhood of Rudy's Family Restaurant, if you can get in here before 9 o'clock, how you guys doing? You, get, you want to have a word with me? Come on around if you would. Anyway, um, if you um, are anywhere near Rudy's Family Restaurant in Harrington, we'd like to give you a couple gift cards to Vanderwind's ice cream. I think I'm getting ready to have a young couple on here, Pat and Gordy. I'm going to see if these people even eat ice cream. Um, I don't know. They might, they might think it's not a good thing. I'm not positive. My ears just changed. I don't know if my battery went dead or no, I don't know. Okay. Well, anyway, um, I'm just going to talk to them for just a second, but we love Vanderwind's ice cream. So if you want some ice cream, check out Vanderwind's ice cream, Vanderwind creamery, VanderwindFarmCreamery.com on the web, like them on Facebook, and eat their ice cream, okay? It's that simple. Now, I need to, Pat, you grab that um, one mic. One? You slide that one, and I'll give okay. Gordy this one. How's that? You good there, young man? Yeah, I'm good. good. Ready to go. All right, you ready to go? I'm ready to go. Don't be staring at that monitor. You got to oh, stare no. at them cameras. I didn't know about that. <laughs> the cameras make us look thinner, don't they? <laughs> 
They yeah, do. They do. No, How are you guys doing? Doing pretty good. Doing good. pretty good. Do either one of you even like ice cream? Yeah, we love ice cream. He, he a, loves it. He's a fast. It's a requirement. Really? All right. Well, I'm going to give you. I'm going to. You look like you would be big ice cream eaters. I'm going to give you four gift cards. All right. So there's one, two, three, four. Why, thank All right. You. Thank you very thank much. You. Now, when you go, tell them I sent you, if you would, please. We'll All right. Do. We'll yeah. do. Now, do you ever eat at Rudy's? Yes, the second Saturday of every month, my bre my uh, family, brothers and sisters, cousins. I'm going to bless. I'm going to bless breakfast. your day. All right. Ten percent off from now on at Rudy's. Oh man, this wow. is cool. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now the next thing I'm going to do is offer a foot massage. No, I'm just kidding. But anyway. <laughs> All right. So you have been to Rudy's and come often. Yep. The last right. couple of years, at least once a month. Now, Mr. Fuzzy here, what's the thing with the beard? Looks pretty good on you. Is it a lot of work? No, it's not a lot of work. It's just, just one of those things you got to keep up with. You know, okay. Right. What are you doing with the hair? Letting it go? Losing it. Losing it. <laughs> Losing it. It's going, it's going away. It's going, going away. Going away like yours is. Yeah, mine's gone. <laughs> His beard's it's going. You get out of the shower quicker, can't you? Yes, you get. You get rolling. <laughs> Where's the beard till the oyster eat? Oh, I don't really? Know why it's about to come off. Okay. All right. Well, I'll leave you alone. Take Thank these with you. Thank you very, very much. Now you're going to save 10% from now on at Rudy's, and you can eat at Vanderwinds four times. Thank you. Now, That's the only thing is, it says one scoop. One if scoop. they give you two, I don't want you to be upset. <laughs> don't call the show and complain, okay? We'll complain a bit. Thank All you, right. Jimmy. Thanks for coming. Okay, Gordy, okay. thank you. Okay, buddy? Thank you. Thank you. All right. See ya. All right. I got it. All right. Thanks a lot. All right. It's that simple if you want to join me on the show. All right. Now, I've known them for a long time. Good people from the Greenwood community, and um, I appreciate their friendship. And they're going to go eat now. All right, what in the world is next? We have a lot of different things going on. Um, it's a busy show. We're inside the restaurant at Rudy's Family Restaurant. We're giving away gift cards to Vanderwins. So if you want one, um, please, you know, let me know. How you doing, young, young lady? Would you like to join me for a minute? We're giving away gift cards to Vanderwins. All right. How was your breakfast? Good. Good. All right. She's just saying, do not make eye contact with me is what she's saying. So anyway, we're here in the restaurant. We're trying to have a good time. Let's talk about Mid-South Audio real quick. It's our friend Kevin Short, and uh, he might be joining us this morning. There's a chance Kevin's going to show up, and there's a chance the governor's going to show up. We're just not sure about either one of them, okay? But anyway, uh, Kevin Short owns Mid-South Audio and does all kinds of things. And with churches right now, a lot of churches are not having services, and they want to figure out how to stream their service. How you doing? Good. They want to figure out how to stream their services. If you need some help with things like that, you need some cameras, some audio, some visual things. If you're having to adjust as a church or an organization, Mid-South Audio's got solutions for you. We're all in uncharted territory right now. We really are. So I want to let you know if you need anything, Mid-South Audio is here for you. Local company, good, honest, fair, and uh, they would appreciate your support. So anyway, just give them a call at 856 Sixty-nine ninety-three eight five six six nine nine three. Whole lot of people leaving. Was everything good? Very good. Very good. Here we go. All right. Hey, uh, Tracy, I need you to go in there and see if you can find a guy named Steve Mons. He's in there with his wife. Okay. He's um in there somewhere. Just say, is Steve Mons in there? Steve Mons. We want to have a word with him if we could get him on. Okay. Steve Mons is who you're looking for. Anyway, um, we're here, and uh, Kevin Short, MidSouthAudio.com. Check him out. Kevin may be stopping by. Um, I am waiting for him, as well as the governor of Delaware. I'm waiting for him. Um, he's probably saying, Jim Weller, I can't imagine you can't believe that I'm busy today. So anyway, hey, how you doing? Real good. Good morning to you. How you doing? So people are steady coming in. We're at Rudy's Family Restaurant. And um, I can't believe it, but I think I've got all my commercials done. I don't know that to be a fact, but now we can really roll with the show. So anyway, um, I don't think I missed a thing. There's a lot going on. Weller's is open today. So we're trying to get Steve Mons over here. Steve Mons, if you're in the house, we would like to talk to you. So anyway, she didn't find him. It's okay. All right. He said, I ain't coming. I don't know if he's here or not, but he was here. Steve Mons. If anybody knows him, text him and tell him I'm out in the lobby looking for him. Want to have a word with him? He's very involved. 
with some things that are going on. So listen, Weller's is open, okay? Don't know how long we're going to be open because the world is changing. Our world is changing. But if you're a small business and you need some encouragement, be encouraged. We are Americans. We can get through this, okay? We're a resilient bunch of people. You don't know what he looks like. I sent her into a restaurant. This is a new helper. You want to come join me for a minute so people could see? what she looks like and everything. So anyway, this is a new helper. Everybody said, where's Katie? You gotta pull the microphone okay, over. Okay, here we go. Okay, so people said, where's Katie? Katie has retired. I paid her so <laughs> much money to help me on Saturday mornings. She's now went into retirement. No, Katie's- She went into a sabbatical. Right, a sabbatical. <laughs> um, she lives in Millsboro and she thought coming to Harrington was a long ride and she needs her Saturday mornings. So we're gonna give her some time off and we've solicited the help of somebody I met at church. I go to United Church and so does this young lady. Go United. Yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> and uh, her name is Tracy. And um, I said, hey, you want to get up real early on Saturday mornings and come help me for almost no pay? And she said, sure, I'd love a job like that. <laughs> no, so anyway. So, Tracy, how are you today? I'm doing good. Good. And have you ever been on a show as uh, un unofficial as this one? No. No. Okay. <laughs> and you didn't find Steve Mons in there anywhere? Well, you know what? Somebody told me they said something, and I walked around, and then I went, and I, I sat next to a guy, and I said, "Are you? do you happen to be Steve Mons? And he looked at me, and he said, no. Okay. <laughs> and I All said, right. Okay, it was then. too weird. It, it's too weird. I sent her in there. You know, there's a like, few oh. hundred people, and she's trying to find Steve Mons. So if anybody knows Steve, send him a text message and tell him Jim Weller's out, out in the lobby. <laughs> would like to get him on the show. So uh, anyway, how is your world being affected by this virus? Um, has it affected you? You're a retired military, so thank you for your service. Thank you. And um, you're a single parent. I am. Mm -hmm. Is that how I describe it, or no? Yes. Okay. Yes. And um, so, how is this? affecting your world well i was about to take i'm a substitute teacher okay. and i just found out thanks to facebook that actually the schools are closed for the next two weeks yes. so i guess i'm not working for the next two weeks yes. so but so um, that would affect income that that affects me a little bit yes wow and so um as of right now um my son who goes to KSI, Kent okay. Sussex Industries, they sent me something last week that they are not closing as of right now, but after the school's being closed, who knows, we'll see story. what happens, right. exactly. Well, and the people that work at KSI love going to work. They love well, it. My son loves going. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. In other words, yep. I uh, remember uh, I had somebody from there on the show one time and they said that when there's a holiday, some of the people complain. They don't want the day off. It's part of their routine and yeah, they want to work. And that's exactly what my son likes. My son likes getting up, going, and, and that's having his that routine. routine. He does, yep. you know, he goes off wow. and he works and he, you know, he did work at the cheer, you know, when, yeah. at the cheer center that's where you right. were at. So. Yep. Steve Mons, go oh, around, see? don't walk through. All right, go around. see. All I right. did go to the wrong well, person. Thanks get out a lot, of here Jonathan. Now. Get out of here. Terrible. I cut you off. Right. So, thank you, Tracy. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. So Tracy's my new helper on Saturdays. I really need to know. Um, I really need to know. Did how did you know I needed you? I, I got a text actually from Kate. She okay. uh, let me know. Because so. I want you to know the power of radio. Okay. Okay. I said, I would like to talk to Steve Mons. Would somebody please text him and tell him I'm here? <laughs> so, do you mind chit chatting for a minute? Not at all. Not okay. at all. Okay. So, uh, do you eat at Rudy's much? Um, not, well, I guess once in a while. Not, okay. not a frequent. Would you like here? a discount of 10% forever? Why not? All right. Well, I'm going to give you one of them. There you okay. go. I, I wanted, I didn't know if I have to twist your arm on that one. No, that's great. Right. Look at that. Do you ever eat ice cream? Who doesn't? Have you ever been to Vanderwins? I have. Okay. One of my favorites. I'm going to give you two gift cards to Vanderwins. All right. All right. They're for a single dip. The only thing I ask is if they give you two dips and you gain weight, I don't want to be responsible. <laughs> is that okay? That's that's fair. I got to hide right. these from my kids though. They're going to oh, be. Oh, I'll uh, give you how many kids you got? Oh, we got uh, two. So one, two. So there you go. Okay. Everybody now, covered. We got everybody covered. All right. Excellent. I want to make sure. Oh, we're taking a picture real quick. <laughs> huh? This is for the uh, wanted poster at the post office. So anyway, we're out here in the lobby. We're having a good time. <laughs> so um, you want to talk about how is this affecting your world any, this coronavirus? You know, we were just having breakfast and we were just talking about that, how, you know, on a, on a large scale, you know, with all the sports being canceled and all the major events being canceled, it, it's shocking. But then I'm coming here and having breakfast and it feels like it hasn't affected us on a Not local nothing level. nothing here. Right. Right. So oh, we're taking a break from the radio. Do you mind holding on? Not at all. Okay. Well, good. Then hold on. Don't go nowhere. We're still on camera, so don't do anything silly. <laughs> but anyway, so we're going to take a break from the radio 
And uh, we're going to continue on on TV Delmarva, James J. Weller Jr.'s Facebook page. People say, why did you change your name? I had to because Facebook said to do political stuff, it has to match my driver's license. All right. I can still hear the music from the radio. But anyway, is Colin on the phone? I'm here. Colin, how you doing? I'm doing great. Good morning to you. Good morning to you, Steve. Uh, he probably can't hear me. He but, can't uh, hear you, but Colin but, said good morning, Steve. Oh, very good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, um, so, uh, so anyway, uh, TV Delmarva, TV Delmarva, um, dot com, TV Delmarva on Facebook, TV Delmarva on your Roku stick, yeah. TV Delmarva on your Amazon Fire Stick, and now over the air, Channel 14 in the Sussex County area, rescan your antennas if you have an antenna hooked to your TV. Rescan, look for channel 14. That will be us. Um, if you don't have an antenna on your TV, go buy an antenna. Buy an antenna. On your TV. Yeah. They may be out of so toilet paper watch. at Walmart, but I bet they got antennas. I bet they have TV antennas. That's right. And they actually have some decent ones there. Um, I would recommend an outdoor antenna. Point it, if you have an antenna or you're going to get an antenna, point it towards Seaford. We are just north of Seaford on the highway. The tower is actually just north of Walmart, so if you point it in that direction, hopefully you can pick us up there. Okay. So anyway, TV Delmarva, we know that this uh, coronavirus deal is going to affect a lot of people, including small businesses. And we feel as a broadcaster that we are responsible um, and we're obligated to help the community in this and uh, to really uh, reach out and see if we can help with uh, uh, making sure businesses make it through this tough time because I, I believe it's really going to be tough for some small businesses to be able to make it through. I have a small business, Wall Service Center. Jim, you have a small business, well as utility trailers. And, you know, if, if we go a couple weeks with uh, severely reduced or no income, it's really going to affect us. And it's also going to affect employees, and it's going to affect – it just moves right on down the line, you know. It's a You're trickle not going to get your car fixed because – Right, because you of, just put uh, it off. You know, so that's going to affect me. Yeah. So there's there's lots of things, you know. It's kind of a domino effect, and, and uh, we want to try to minimize that as much as possible. So at TV Delmarva, we are going to try to get together a roundtable. We're still in the, in the thinking phase, brainstorming phase that we want to put something together – to help small business at no charge. We want to help them to to uh, get through this. And so we are going to put something together. We're still looking for ideas. Um, it's, it's going to have to do, you know, it's going to be some free advertising for businesses. Um, so if you have an idea of what we can do, give me a call, 42, I'm sorry, 242-8015. That's my cell phone number, rings direct to me. Text me, leave me a message if you don't get me. Colin at tvdelmarva.com. You can uh, shoot me an email there. Follow me on Facebook. Message me. Just get up with me somehow. We need to make this work. We've got to get all the small businesses uh, in Delaware, you know, in Sussex County area through this because, you know, the small businesses is, is what it's makes the fiber. Move. It's the fiber of our community is small business. Exactly. All right. So, yep. Anyway, that's, uh, that's it. So, uh, all right. I'll talk to you later, Jim. Well, I'm glad I got to talk to you. See you, Colin. Bye. Bye. So what Colin's saying is, is TV Delmarva is committed to helping small businesses. What he's offering is we're going to get together. We're going to do some conversations. We're going to help you promote your business. We're not going to charge you anything. It's something that TV Delmarva wants to offer the community to help you survive. The biggest thing we need to offer each other is encouragement. We're not dumb. You know, we don't need to give up. You know, nothing beats a try but a failure. In other words, so let's not be a failure. Let's just keep right on trying. That's the way I look at it. So I am always excited when I have to think outside the box because that's what separates you from everybody else. The guy that can sell this, that the other guy can't sell it, um, that's kind of the name of the game because there's always buyers and there's always a way and you just got to minimize objections and figure out how to get it done. But we are all going to feel this. There's no question about it. But in an all adversity, there is always opportunity. All right? And you are the one that makes that decision. You decide. Either something's a stumbling block or a stepping stone. 
You decide that. So with that said, we're waiting to come back on the radio. We're going to chat some more with Steve Mons. He's going to be giving out gift cards to something, I'm sure. No, I'm just kidding. So <laughs> swag. I wonder if he has any swag with him for anything. But anyway, no, we're going to just chit-chat. But we'll, we'll start talking now. We're on Facebook and everything, and I'll just tell you when we come back on the radio. Is that okay? That's fair. You're not in the middle of any non-compete clauses, are you? Not at all. Okay, no, we're just good. Want to make sure. So <laughs> anyway, so I gave you gift cards. We're good. This coronavirus is really, like, to look in the restaurant today, you would think nothing's going on. Right, right. It's business right. as usual. Business as usual. But what's in there, I think, is the, is the, is the small community, you know, the fact that we're going to be okay, we're going to get through it, we're going to work together, we're going to come together. And that is what lower Delaware, Delaware in general, I would say, is really good at. Absolutely. Coming together. Coming together. And that's what you need in times like this. You don't yes, need you do. fear. You don't need panic. You need right. to take care of your community. Correct. And that's, that's, you know, I think that's one of the things that being on the radio really had to think about that because I, I, I watch television and, it, and um, you know, the news, the big news channels, they scare me. Yeah. And I don't want to relay that to right. my audience. Or I, I know you don't either. No. We just got to get the information out there and we need to make sure everyone's informed and we're going to be okay. We, we just got to take it one step at a right. time. We're in it together. Right. We're in it together. And we're in it to win it. Okay? It's that simple. But um, so has it, it's not really affected the stations or your work life or anything like that right now? No, not at this stage of the game. Although, right. you know, you were just talking about, you know, you gotta, you're faced with challenges and you've got to think ahead. Right. And so part of what we've been doing is thinking ahead. Okay, what's going to happen a week from now, two weeks from now? Mm -hmm. You know? Am I going to wind up being at the station full time because right. I because I need to be or, right. uh, you know, or are we going to be, uh, you know, self quarantined? Who Correct. knows? So you don't Correct. really know. So you have to think of these things and find out ways to use it to our advantage. We're back so. on the radio, folks. So you're listening to a show called Weller Does Del Marva. This is live. It's unrehearsed. It's unscripted. And I'm not even a professional. So you're listening to <laughs> Weller Does Del Marva. I'm not even a paid employee, to be quite honest with you. <laughs> and I'm chatting with a friend of mine, Steve Mons. And we're just here at Rudy's Family Restaurant in Harrington. And you're invited to stop by. If you get here before 9 o'clock, I'll give you a gift card to Vanderwins. But in the meantime, we're just talking about what it's like living in Delaware and going through this coronavirus. It's not really a scare any longer. It's a reality. It's just a reality. So um, what else? Um, you know, I'll tell you, Steve, something that's crossing my mind is, okay, you've got people that just found out last night, no school for two weeks. Right. All right. So now you got mom or dad. They're both trying to work and make ends meet. But what do we do with the kids? It's a, it's a great question. And it's I mean, a, what do we do? I mean, so then mom or dad might have to take off work to be with the kids. Now that employer's now short staffed. Right. But then on top of that, there's less income. You mm -hmm. know, it's a, it's a domino effect. So there's um, a serious trickle down that happens yeah. and it, you know, it will on some level affect everyone. Yes. It and, will. and that's the, the unknown is as to how much. And I want to encourage people if you're at a business and you're being waited on by somebody, that might be somebody who uh, their spouse has now lost income or maybe where they work is now short staffed and you're not getting the service you were used to. But you got to be a little more understanding. I think one of the biggest things we need to do is show each other compassion. Absolutely. In other words, now more than ever. Because you don't know behind the scenes what any of us are walking through or dealing with or anything like that. So, uh, And I think, so. you know, one of the things that... Um, We'll, we'll make it a little bit more real, I think, is, uh, do you know anybody who has the coronavirus yet? I other do than not. Tom Hanks? <laughs> right, yeah. Other, yeah. No, but I think I on that level, I think when we realize that, that there are our friends and neighbors are being affected, I think it will change it a bit. Yes, and I it think will. You'll right. get that compassion because like, wow, it's, it's, it's in our real. town. Right. So we, we, we all need to remember that. And even though it's not directly in front of us, you know, we still have to act that way. We still have to right. be prepared for it. Yep. All right. Well, now... This is the first time you've observed our show? I love your show. This is I great. I just wondered. I just didn't know. Do you have any honest, fair critiques for us? Oh, my gosh. This is uh, high tech. I love what you're doing. I mean, this okay. is so, um, look, I can see myself, yep. which I'm not used to. I'm used to being on the radio where That's we right. don't see each other. And you but, do um, honestly have a face for radio. <laughs> okay. I've heard that before. You've heard that. Um, um, but what I was going to say is, I mean, a lot of people don't know this show is, uh, I actually, to be honest, we've done it 340 times. Wow. And we've never missed a Saturday. There's been times that I had somebody else do it for me or something like that, but we've never missed a Saturday. 
Um, and on top of that, even one time, we've done it at the station a couple times, and uh, it's been kind of neat. But I'm very thankful of, first of all, Delmarva Broadcasting for allowing me to do it, which is now Forever Media. Right. And um, it's just been, been fun, been fun. And you're, but, you've become a fabric of the community. I mean, what better place to do this show than right here at Rudy's, which oh on gosh, Saturday yeah. morning, I mean, everybody is here for breakfast. Correct. It's kind of neat. We're excited, actually, to be in Kent County. You know, we've been mm -hmm. in Sussex County most yep. of the time with the show, and now we've got a new audience. We had the mayor of Dover come down today, and, um, you know, we're going we're gonna, to you know, be reaching out to more people in Kent County to join us a little bit. And for our Sussex County friends, it's a little bit of a longer drive, and um, here we are. So Kevin Short has arrived. So, um, <laughs> so anyway, um, other than that, um, I'm going to let you go if that's okay. Yeah, that's great. And I really appreciate you coming on. Did you do the polar bear plunge? I did, yes. Okay. Wasn't too bad this year, was it? No, it wasn't too bad. The water and the air temp were about the same, so okay. we survived okay. Uh, but you've done it a lot. Uh, ten years. Ten years. Ten straight wow. years. So. Wow. If you haven't done it, it's a thrill of a lifetime. You need, you need to, to do to try it. it. Right. And it's for a great cause for Special yes. Olympics of Delaware. Wasn't it a record? Over a million dollars raised? First time ever that they broke a million dollars. That's yeah. been a goal. Wonderful so, organization. It's great Special stuff. Special Olympics Delaware, I think it is. Made I a lot of great friends right. through there, and there's good. a lot of uh, great people who, uh, who really appreciate all the funds that are raised. Well, good. So. All right. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Jim. Okay. Enjoy your breakfast. I'm sorry to have interrupted you. No, really you're am. good. You're good. Maybe the 10 percent will compensate for it. Absolutely. You. All you. right. <laughs> All right. I'll see you. Kevin, you can come on over if you want. Oh, he's on the phone now. But anyway, uh, Kevin Short has arrived. So, Debbie, if you were wondering if he made it safely, he's here. And uh, we're here. We're inside the restaurant. I want to remind you, Weller's Utility Trailers is open, and uh, we surely would appreciate your support. We don't know what the future holds. We do know who holds the future, but I'm just saying... If you need a shed, a carport, a swing set, a trailer, um, a dog kennel, a chicken coop, and uh, or hand sanitizers, I want to. I'm going to let Kevin Short describe this as best he can, um, because he's quite a professional at uh, articulating words and describing things. Let's let's pose for the picture first, Kevin. This is our new hostess, our helper. Tracy. Good morning. So anyway, um, uh, Kevin, uh, do you have any hand sanitizers as nice as this one? This is touchless. It, it, wow. Wow. It's electric, huh? Um, it has a battery. It's electric. Right. It yeah. was, some people thought it was 110, 240, 440. It's, it's battery <laughs> operated. Three phase. It's, it's so yeah. old that the batteries have rotted. Yeah. And uh, so the batteries don't come with it any longer. But it's not that old. This is when it was made. So it's not too bad. 2001. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it's yeah. only 19 years old. Yeah. At 20 years old, it's a collector's item, right? There you go. It becomes it's an, an antique. an antique. So we are selling these 5, 10, 20, one at a time <laughs> uh, for $5 a piece, folks. This is where I'm making my money. So we got these, and then, Kevin, we have these. Is this a gift for all your guests? Um, no. No, they're I don't very get, valuable. I don't get to take this with me? Uh, I need it for display purposes. Really? Okay. Yes. Um, it I, might you know. have a small defect. I'm not sure. Okay. But anyway. Um, <laughs> the the battery free. is corroded and won't come oh, out. I thought they were kidding me when they said the batteries were corroded. So when I took this one out of the box, the batteries, I've never seen a battery fall apart. It fell apart. <laughs> um, it's only 19 Nin years old. Ni 19 so, years old. Right. But the hand sanitizer is also was expired in 2011. We're selling these. For uh, three dollars a piece, you know. So if you look at the dispenser, they're they're thirty forty dollars brand new online. If you look at the the refills, they're twenty twenty five dollars, three bucks. We had somebody buy seventy of these, so he holds the record so far. Okay, he bought the most seventy. But wow. man, we've been selling this stuff all night long on eBay. You wake up in the morning, and I bet we've made two hundred dollars. In other words, um, it's just uh, <laughs> <laughs> people look at me and they're like. Why do you work so hard for so little? Go to work for the government, in other words. <laughs> all right, Kevin, let's get serious, all if right? You, um, I brought some new bumper music with me. Oh, for real? Let the sun shine. I Let think the you, sun yeah, shine. Yeah, I think you would play on the way in and out of the show. <laughs> Let the sun shine. Were you here so, for the site visit? Did you, uh, did you pick this location? Um, yes, actually <laughs> yeah. our back was originally going to be yeah. through the window. Well, that would have been even worse. <laughs> because we, we were hoping that we could get car dealers and boat dealers to pull up and me go outside and we highlight this boat or we highlight this car as part of the show. But I, the sun I, I may play a role in it. There may need to be some shades in your future. Some shades in my future. Bless <laughs> you. All right. So you anyway, I did that. I you did pretty good. Did you have is that that's the that that's owned by the venue, I guess. And that's probably current. 
current yeah. cleaner. Yeah. Current cleaner. Yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> it's not I, some of my stuff. Yeah. <laughs> hey, but speaking about stuff that's not 100% up to date, my daughter's found some chocolate covered pretzels at Byler's that were only out at Christmas time. And I told them, do you guys notice that I used to have a bunch in the freezer at the studio? I got 12 boxes of them from Target, but now I got a bunch more from Byler's. So if you're looking for chocolate covered pretzels that you enjoyed at Christmas time, Byler's has got them for $3.99. And I freeze them, so they taste just fine. I eat them frozen. I wow. Love them. Frozen. Frozen. I got them in every freezer. I got them at home, in my office. I got them at the studio, all my friends' house. I put some in their freezers. So um, I love them. They're okay. like my go-to snack. You know what I mean? Really? Some people eat them health bars. I eat chocolate-covered pretzels. I've been eating a lot of granola lately. Have you? Yeah. All right. All right. Well, so. you're out of time, Kevin, <clears throat> but I appreciate you stopping there, by. There you go. <laughs> what? This is so, nice. I like this. Do you really? Yeah. Okay. Um, so what do we need? We need a shade. Well, you know, I, that room over there looks really promising to me. They got shades. they got shades in the windows. And they have tables. What a great idea. And they have Maybe, tables. Since he just ran the wire in the wall over here. Yeah, that's yeah, all right. That's all right. Run you another can wire. You can redo that. Yeah. Yeah. That's no big deal. That would be interesting. He probably, hey, 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 how about these kids? These kids want to talk on the radio? <laughs> Was that a firm no? <laughs> all right. Thank you very much. That was... Thanks, but no thanks, Jim. Thanks, this place no is thanks. hopping. I, it's this hopping. Is, this is my first time here, and, and it's, really? it's very oh, impressive. Let me give you a gift while you're here. Okay. I as can't have my, the sanitizer. As my, one of my best friends. Okay. Cool. 10% off. All right. All of your future purchases so I have be, I've be, I'm a fir, not only a first-time customer, but a loyal customer at the same time. There you go. Yeah. Well, how about that? Yeah. Cool. Well, and, thank you. And I would give you ice cream cones but i know you're you know, avoiding ice cream i am avoiding ice cream okay uh, so. i think my wife is here i just saw her pull up that's okay. who i was trying to call oh debbie yeah All i know right. that she, i just wanted to let her know i was here she's listening so we I'm have here. the mayor on i have not got the governor on so i doubt he's coming but i don't I, know that actually asking the governor to come on via facebook might be the most efficient way to do it. They, he has a press office and you know he'll probably you could probably contact him that okay. way. All right. Well, there, I'll do there, it. there is protocol. There's you know? protocol. I yeah. know. But you know me. It's it's Del it's Lower Delaware. I can't say it's Sussex County. Hey, how you guys doing? Did you want to sing with us? <laughs> they thought I told a joke. So people are coming. How you doing? Yeah. How you doing? Yep. I like what you've done with your hair. Left at home, huh? <laughs> You're gonna oh, love this place. You got a lot. Oh, more, I'm gonna love this place. A folks. lot more interaction. Oh, yeah. 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 That's what I was thinking. In that room, you know, the gummy bear room. Right. Uh, you have shades and you have tables. That's true. So people could just come in. We could call it the Weller Does Del Marva. Yeah. Gathering area. We'll that see. Could be. We'll see. This is we'll cool. See. This is this yeah. is this is nice. Six months. The struggle was real to get to here. The struggle was real, real to get to the here. The struggle was real. <laughs> So, um, you know what I mean. That's like an inside joke. I, hey, I, how you doing? Hey, how are you? Real good, real good. All right. So, anyway, um, I seem to know every other person here. I so, think maybe um, setting up in that doorway might be a good idea. Right. That's where everybody seems. That's where all the action is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. I'll just start seating people while I do the show. Uh, there's a, a table three yeah, is open. Yeah, a three and, top. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah, so, anyway. A three top. I don't even think there's top. such this thing. Yeah. Is there? Oh, I don't know. So, how you holding up, Kevin? You know, it's 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 been a challenging week. It has. Um, Your business. And, you know, I feel bad. I, I want to tell you this. Um, I called you. Thursday was not a good day in my world. And and I found out today that Thursday was your birthday. It was. So I, I, call, was. I called you, and it was just venting. <laughs> and, I mean, and we were both commiserating, you know, right. back and forth. I don't think it was 100% me. But I did not even realize. Because I've not been on Facebook. I mean, I've been so busy, I haven't even been able to look. I did not realize it was your birthday. So, happy birthday. Well, you'll have all next week to make it up to me. Okay. Uh, I'll eat lunch every day somewhere. Okay, no problem. <laughs> but well, we can do that. I had a great birthday. Denise, you didn't hear the first thing. Oh, I did. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I need a more efficient machine. We've gone from home movies, <laughs> from vacation, <laughs> to actually documenting home you know, VHSs, uh, transferred oh, DVDs. Oh, we'll be playing them. Wait till you see them. It's so cool to see what our house used to look like and before this edition. You know, I actually we get a lot of calls at the office about that, and I believe that Walmart does that. Oh, okay. Well, 
Chances are Denise and I are going to be spending I, have our Have you evenings. ever heard me endorse Walmart for Not anything? Not ever in your life. Well, I just, we, we, we have so many calls from people that want to transfer DVDs to, or VHS to DVDs that we had to find someplace. And I know that the Georgetown one does. Mine aren't so. even VHS. They're not. I got to put them in this little VHS adapter. Maybe they're eight millimeter or something. Okay. All right. Like that. Well, they would do that um, too. So. But I remember there was a video of something really cool. I had an egg drop at Weller's in Lincoln uh -huh. where we rented a bucket truck. And it was with um, 97.7. I should have brought that up with Steve Mons. 97.7 when it was Waffle Radio. And you won $97.70 if you caught an egg without it breaking. Wow. And everybody that had a ring on, it broke the egg. Really? You know, yep. And when it hit, hit in their hand. But we rented a bucket truck. We had over 200 How much money people. did they give away? Uh, well, we gave away $1,000. Ten winners. Really? But we had over 200 people show up. Wow. Lined up all around the property because you had to go inside, sign a... A, 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 you a, know, a waiver. You had to yeah. put on a helmet yeah. when you did it. Yeah. And I was, uh, it was, <laughs> it, I want to do it again. I want to do it right here, actually. I want to get a bucket truck. We're going to go well, outside. Easter's, Easter's coming. Easter yeah, is. We should do that. If somebody's got a bucket truck and they want to be part of this, let me know. Lynn Rogers, hint, hint. But anyway, um, just saying. Jeff Dukes. Jeff Dukes. Yeah. Um, we so we could have, have some truck. fun. We could go up in the bucket truck. We could set it right up out here in the parking lot. Oh, my gosh. What a great idea, Kevin. You know, that's you why. You talk I, about thinking outside the box. That's why I'm here. That's why you're here. I, you know, so, just to let you know that Easter's around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> that, so, you know. Oh. Now, what can Mid-South Audio do? Let's say a church is listening or somebody in a church and saying, you know what? We don't know if we're going to have church for the next two or three weeks. We don't know. Well, it's kind of interesting. Um, uh, you know, with the Thursday, things were canceling and just, you know, left and right. And, uh and then Thursday night, after I left the office, we started getting voicemail at the office. And then, um, and then I got a couple text messages and a couple emails. And a lot of churches want to stream their services because they're right. not going to hold, 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 hold services hurt. this week. Right. So we're currently installing a streaming system today at a church. Uh, we did one yesterday. We kind of pulled the guys off one job and moved them over to do that. And um, and then we sold a couple streaming systems to churches outside of the area. One in uh, one in Georgia, and uh, and um, well, both in the Georgia area. So, but I remember being at your your um, seminar thing that you had that time, right? And I remember there was like this camera system that you could get where you got this little toggle thing that yep. moves them, and yeah, that's I mean, the idea. So I just want to make sure people know that you know if your business or your church is all of a sudden having to communicate with people differently. You have solutions, is and, that correct? And you know, and uh, we were talking to a small little country church that they were gonna they're gonna stream on um, <clears throat> on Sunday, and uh, they've been talking about doing this for a while. We quoted them before the end of the year, and they called and said, "Hey, can we get this done now?" You yeah, know, like and, this weekend. And and we did. We were able to take care of it. Um, but uh, I suggested to them, and I talked to Colin, that he's got time on on uh, TV Delmarva. And a lot of people in older churches, smaller churches that have an older clientele, the reason that they don't like the streaming option is because right. a lot of their a lot of their congregants don't have smartphones, so they have no way. Maybe they don't even have a computer. This is so where they TV have, Del Marva could come so in. So that's what I said. If you if you stream to TV Del Marva, all they got to have is a TV. Yeah. Bingo. So bingo, I think it's bingo. a great it's a, it's a, it's a great idea. So. I think it's a great idea. I think the D TV Del Marva sales team needs to get right on this. Yep. So I suggested to Colin. He was all about it, and I think maybe we'll make some of that happen. So, yep. all right. Uh, but it's you know it's going to be a challenging week. It's challenging times for everybody. You know the schools are now closed. Right. So, um, yes. Uh, you know, but we're we're gonna we're gonna we'll, we're, we're gonna be fine. We'll come out on the other end of this. We so. will for sure. We just don't know how long that's going to be. That's right. Um, but the good thing is, but you know you're sanitizing Delmarva, so. As best I you're can. You're doing your part. As well as California, and Honolulu. I, and I took the windscreen everywhere. off this microphone. Yes, you did. <laughs> yeah. You're a brave man. Did you notice that? I did. Yeah. yeah okay. Well, I didn't touch it with a mucous membrane. So oh, I was, okay. You know, that's, okay. That's, 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 there you go. All right. Well, I'm going to let you uh, go, Kevin, if that's okay. All right. I got it. I can do okay. the rest of the show. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> no, I was going to let you leave, oh, and I was okay. going right. to see if I could talk Connie into coming on. Certainly. Look at the panic in her face. Yeah. Oh, come on. I'm going to find my wife. Thanks. Okay. Good talking All right. To you. See you. Thank you, Kevin. MidSouthAudio.com. Come on around here, young lady. Um, yeah, I can. I'll be a few minutes closing up. Okay. Oh, here she comes. This is going to be her first time. This is caller Connie. 
good supporter of the show, a friend of ours. Okay, you do that. All right, have a seat, Connie. Um, I just want to say hi, talk right into the microphone. Don't look at the monitor. Look at which camera? That one. All right, and now we're going to take a picture, by golly. All right. All right, bon uh, Bonnie, Connie, smile. All right, that was priceless. All right, Connie, you normally listen to this show, or do you watch it, or what do you do? I listen to you every Saturday morning. All right, from where? <laughs> well, from my house. Okay. I, and if I'm not in there, I'm down in the chicken house. Okay, and you got a TV down there, too? No, 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 okay. it'd be on Facebook. You need today. to get your chickens watching this TV show. There you go. How many chickens you got? Well, we only have the two houses. Okay, well, how many is two houses? Oh, Sounds it's... like thousands. <laughs> It'd be around 50-some thousand. 50-some thousand? I'm a small farmer compared but to... But think about that. When you wake up in the morning, you are responsible for 50,000 lives. But the Lord has blessed me because I'm to a realm in life that I heard God tell me it's time to start leasing because both of my sons have their farms. Uh, and Matt just okay. got his organic ones up. Okay. So Ryan Schwarzentruber is, I'm training him to, to start take it over. to lease. Wow. He is doing fantastic. Good. All right. I, am, so. I just find it's God's leading. That's well, how good. I do. Now, you, you also help at the Greenwood Mennonite School? I do. I you, love uh, it. I've you been work there in the cafeteria? 20 years in the cafeteria. 20 years? The wow. Computer. Now, I drove school bus before and stuff okay. like that. Okay. So you know a little bit of everything. Yeah. All right, that's a good little school, wouldn't it? Yeah, I love that school. Do you know yet? I don't know. Is it closed or not closed? I'm not sure. For me sure. either. I heard my something, but I don't there. want to pass it on unless okay. I know I just, for sure. Okay, I just right. Me either. I just wasn't looking for no secrets. I just wondered but, if you knew. I said I don't know what I'm going to do when it's when for I don't have weeks. those. And then my husband's chaplain out at the hospital, and they told him not to come back for two weeks. Really? He's the chaplain at what hospital? At the Milford Hospital. Milford Hospital. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, yeah. um, I'd like to know, what do you think of this show? I think it's wonderful. Is there anything you'd like us to do different? No, but I am glad you moved to Rudy's. Oh, are you really? <laughs> All right. And tell me why. <laughs> well, I'm up here in Harrington more than I am going in, to Georgetown. Okay. But I did, you know, Georgetown was fine. Do you eat at Rudy's often? No, uh-uh. Ever? Not a lot because okay. we watch our pennies. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to help you watch your pennies. I'm going to give you a gift card. This is worth 10% uh, okay. off every time you're here. Thank you so much. Okay, so, you know, um, that'll help you watch your pennies 10% better. There, well, anything helps. Anything helps. Do you like Vanderwins? Oh, yes. I if love I give you a Vanderwins. couple of these, will you go? Oh, yes. Okay, now it's Thank only for a single scoop. Right. If they yeah, happen but their to... single scoops are huge. Okay, I just... <laughs> <laughs> but they're worth it. Okay, I just so. wanted to make sure. Do you like Vanderwins? Oh, my, yeah. Do you know yeah. them? You yeah. know the people? Okay, they're good people. Yeah, my husband they? used to rent uh, Spitter Spreaders. Really? One of the Vander ones okay. when Daniel was still here. Really? Wow. But I also want to put a plug in for okay. Rick Fowler. I, Rick with Fowler. No nonsense. Who's Rick Fowler? <laughs> I've heard of this Rick Fowler. Okay. <laughs> he has been God sent. Really? Yes, and Will. Okay. Brother well, good. Will. So you're happy with him? Oh, my, yeah. All right. Do you use your Weller's discount card there? Oh, yeah. Save 25 bucks. Oh, yeah. All it's right. worth that. Okay. That's All right. Well, I'm going to let you go. Thank Is that okay? You. I want to say thank you for yeah. joining me. Thank you. I feel honored I wanted to that you see came what on. your operation was. I well, said, there's a lot of wires going. in there. Yeah. And so. every Saturday morning you set this up. Um, I don't. They Shoot. do. They do. I sit right in this chair and stay out of the way. <laughs> And you have somebody okay. taking Katie's place. Yes, for now. Katie uh -huh. is scared to death she's being replaced. Oh, so. my. Oh. Yeah. So it's a team. Katie will be here yeah. maybe April 4th. Maybe not, huh? Maybe not. Yeah, All right. Well, well we're going to leave you. you. Thank so you very much. much. Okay? Take we'll care. See ya. Thanks for taking care of my grandkids there at the school. Oh, I love them. Okay. They're very neat. I question them about working and, okay. and how their granddad you know, uh, spoils them. <laughs> believe it or not, in one of the classes, they talked about social media. So my granddaughter's in school one day, and what do they bring up? All my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, embarrassing for her. I love so. what you said this morning about saving everything, your boxes. Uh, oh, yeah, you should see my garages. Well. And trailers and containers and buildings. And But they come in handy. And like Never yesterday know. we were looking for something. I said, well, let me look for the box. I'll get the information off of and it. There it was. <laughs> There. All right. See ya. Thank, Thank you very you. much. All right. Bye-bye. All right. You too. All right, everybody. It's 8.57. The show has been great. 
Tracy, thank you for your help, and Jonathan, and Colin, the second, and then Colin, Colin, it's Colin, and then Colin, the second, right? Okay, and um, I'm just saying thank you to everybody, Rudy's Family Restaurant, for hosting the show. Um, I can't get over the amount of people coming and going and just all kinds of stuff happening here. Everything good? Yes, Everybody happy? Yes, all right, there you go. Everybody's happy. All right, so this is where we're going to be next Saturday. Every Saturday for the next six months, we're going to be right here. We're going to be doing this show live. We're live on TV. We're live on the radio. And if you own a business and you want to buy some advertising, we're selling advertising. And if you uh, are a nonprofit and need to promote something, we're here for you. And uh, just get up with me. It's Jim Weller. Send me a message somehow. Call my store, whatever you want to do. Weller's Utility Trailers is open. And, yes, you heard me correctly. We have merged and uh, kind of partnered up with Chuck Crichton, Crichton's Trailers. And uh, he is now working with us and going to be helping us run the company and uh, we're going to go forward in some new directions we're very very excited to have chuck on board so if you know chuck Crichton, please stop into wellers and say good morning and hello i'm done for the day okay um and god bless you all do not panic everything is fine the sun is going to rise and god is still in control i'll see y'all have a good weekend bye-bye